Okay, so this is gonna be fun. I'm Lisa Ludwig, and I played Wendy in Mother's Day. I'm uh, Mike Wagner, and I played Jordan Wheeler in Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aaron Rizzo, and I was the dog. No, <laughs> you wish you were the dog. Yeah, uh -huh. You're so cute, that dog. That puffy. No, I'm, I was the guy who held the camera. The guy who held the guy who held the camera. Yeah, so you were like a third cast member, actually. It felt like it. Yeah. Really, we couldn't yeah. have, couldn't have done it without you. Me and Sound, we were kind of the technically the only people that kind of hung out. Right. In the backyard together. And you know, to try to put this all together during the pandemic was uh, quite interesting. And luckily that it was just you know the two actors and the small crew. So oh, here we are. I remember the first time going to this house. <laughs> which uh, is uh, Travis's, uh, the, the director and the writer's family house. It's so pretty. Well, it, it felt very homey, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. when... It was fun to hang out there, have food too, when we were there. And speaking dogs, you love that dog. <laughs> Yukon. Rest in peace, buddy. So how did it feel, Mike, you, you walking up there that first day, I mean, doing all of this? Um, no, it felt good, I, I just remember. Like, this was a big deal for me of getting the... I remember the, the Bernie um, sticker. Yeah, yeah, that was a whole coordination to be like, flip it up there. Yeah, because that... Uh, it took a long time, actually, yeah. Well, even the motorcycle in general. Had you ever ridden a motorcycle before the movie? No. No, I, uh, <laughs> no. I learned it a week before, actually. Uh, <laughs> I wanted it. to learn, but they wouldn't let me do it. So here, right, this is when a switch happens, right? So we yep. come up. So right here, technically, Travis is now getting on the bike. Same clothes, same outfit. Are you supposed to give that away? Of course, yeah. <laughs> this is the good stuff. I wanted you to but say it. This was, oh, this same was our me. way to get around that, was to be like, oh, let's kind of, you know, hang on. And this was tough because we're obviously on this wide angle lens because we're on the drone right now. And so it's like trying to not make it feel you like You cannot even drone. tell if that was No, you switched. can't. I, 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 it is like you come back and you're like, there you go. There's Mike still. Well, when we go see the shot too, it is important that somebody know how to ride this motorcycle safely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as you're gonna and see, they're the going fast. I love Travis this part. Look at this. But I gotta tell you, when I saw this, I wasn't there the day when you guys shot this. I didn't know you didn't ride because I th I knew you were practicing a couple of days. So mm -hmm. I was very impressed with your riding. So. Well, thank you. <laughs> but and now it wasn't I know. me though. And, and yeah, I was trying to refrain from uh, telling people it wasn't me right. until we actually. Mike, do you, this was we did a few of these shots earlier in the day. Sorry, there's the horse. This part's, I mean, the horse being out there, how cool mm -hmm. is This that? is an amazing <sighs> shot. It's so cool. I still get like an anxious around the telephone wires. <laughs> Look at that, so fast. But I again, mean, I wasn't there when any of this was done and I, I still remember, you know, on the big screen seeing this, you know, at the premiere going, oh my God, this is a legit movie. This mm -hmm. is awesome. Look at this. I, I mean, it's, it's such an impressive shot. And Mike, you probably remember this is the last take of the day, because like we, we, I think we did some in the morning. We did a yeah. few in the morning, I think. We were because we had like, to catch the race. Right, and so we're like, well, let's try the morning, but we wanted it to work because this is where the sun will be backlight. We we weren't sure if it was because it was cloudy most of the day. Didn't stop at that stop sign. No, it was a uh, yield. It was a yield. Uh -huh, he was cautious uh -huh. still. I always wonder if like in the beginning, if people will like think that's a character thing, where they're like, is this guy a nice guy? <laughs> you know, because he doesn't stop at stop signs. You know. But I will say the thing too about this shot, besides it, in my opinion, being a beautiful shot, it does set up the whole, the town totally. and where oh, we right. are and and the, the play. I mean, it's it's the perfect setup for what we're gonna see for the rest of the movie of where he lives and, and what the, you know, atmosphere Dirt of the bike. town is like or village or. But I remember it was so funny. We like had all these things on lock and we were like, yeah, all is good. And then the day we were gonna do this, the whole town goes under construction. Construction. Yeah, yeah it was like mm. a joke. We were like, yeah, it's gonna be no problem. It's Gary, New York. And they're like, we're putting all the infrastructure in. <laughs> it's just awful. I mean, look at there. This was, this took a lot of problem solving to figure out because I think, I don't know if you, but so we, we kept wanting to follow the bike, but we couldn't get fast enough. We kept running out of range. So this cut through was actually a really good was solve beautiful. to figure out how to actually keep range. But again, even the, the perfection of the day, do you know what I mean? Because we had yeah. to film everything in a certain number of days, so it was very weather reliant totally. you know, as well. Totally, yep. Yeah, there's so many variables that. And again, all the guys who played the, you know, your co-workers, I mean, it was so perfect, the yep. eclectic mix of, of people who worked at the, the nursing oh, home. Oh, they made the scene so fun. I agree. 
This is so. This, but this was our last thing we shot, right? I'm pretty uh, sure this was the yeah. Because you went. Did you go back to shoot it? I, I don't remember. Again, I wasn't there. This was day. close to the last thing we shot, if I remember correctly. Like we yeah, basically filmed right. the rest of the movie, and then we were like, we have to do this thing first. Yeah. I mean, next. Yeah. But like, because I remember when I was sitting down after you guys took off, and I was like. This is it. Like that was it. You know, right. Yes. Yeah. I don't even think there was pickups to do or anything like that. I think we took everything. So this was our last thing we were doing. I know you're the coach. Yeah, and uh, I remember telling Travis to kind of rework this scene a little bit. And uh, oh, you were telling the director what to do. I, I, I was. I was being that guy. I was Why like, we should have a little more back and forth. I feel like. Uh, that oh, was I not, do think I remember because you know, it, it could feel a little relation. awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Get especially it's like it's a long walk and. Right. Yeah, we, and we struggled timing this, right? We did it a couple times. Like, okay, uh, we finished talking halfway through. Now right, I remember that, yeah. You, but like, that's funny, because I could see bros just walking in in silence. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, 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 really yeah, really most people would walk in and say nothing. <laughs> but you're a friendly guy. <laughs> no face tattoos. But it was great, too, that the facility, you know, I don't know what uh, Travis and the production team had to go through to get the facility to allow us to... Uh, film there, but again, it just adds that. I mean, it's important to see that facility mm -hmm. as well in that, part of the, the, you know. That's a good point because I remember one, they were very accommodating, but two, like, this was, this is like during COVID, not like now. It's like, it was during COVID, like, people were still unsure of what's going on. And like, there's, a, if you look closely, like, one of those windows back there, there was people visiting their grandparents through the windshield. But again, like, through the window. Yeah. Like, this was that time where like other people couldn't even come in here. But again, they we were, were very here. careful. I mean, we, mm -hmm. as part of the, the crew and the actors, were very careful with all the, the COVID protocols. So obviously, we made mm -hmm. them feel confident enough that, you know, we would follow those protocols as well, which we did. That's a great shot. This is fun, yeah. This was interesting too, because it was like, I'm, if, I'm pretty sure this is basically just us. <laughs> like, Travis, I think, just kind of probably left it, like, just throughout, the, we let this go throughout the day, but if you look closely, that's just us walking back and forth, like, in the lighting and all that to try to make it look there the days fast. But, yeah, if you probably freeze it, you can probably find a bunch of different people. We have depth of field again. <laughs> but again, you know, it's interesting, not at this time, but now in my life, I do uh, help at a, a nursing facility. I do hair and stuff, and it is like that, you know, I to watch the people sitting right. in the halls and yeah. doing all of that. And again, it gives you the feeling, you know, what we talk about later in the film is, Mom, do you want to end up here? You know, like mm -hmm. this, yeah. you know, and hopefully when we get to that part in the film, people will remember this moment, you know, in the beginning. You know, and even See that foreshadowing. That, yeah. was, that, yeah. was, that was a tough shot. We did that quite a few times, yeah. I remember. For a lot of reasons, I remember there was like, I think Luke is in the car pulling focus right now. And oh no, he, we he ended up walking with us. And we were holding this 17 inch sumo monitor so he could focus, then he hopped in the car. It was a mess. We should have, I wish he had BTS at this moment. Cause right now I'm pretty sure Travis is holding the monitor yeah. and Luke's pulling focus <laughs> behind. But again, if you've never worked on a film before, I don't even know what you were talking about. It was so sure, funny yeah. when I started seeing, you know, where all the cameras were. Later, we'll talk in the garage and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's how they do it. Because sure. I always thought, you know, the director was going to be standing right next to us, you know. But there's, I, I haven't, I hadn't done film before. I was, I, a, I'm a theater gal. Well. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it's different too. Cause I think it's it's more personal for Travis, so that makes it different too, where it's follows it a little closer yeah, and yeah. a different directing style than maybe or someone to just stand by. And, and for those who don't know Travis, he is the director and the writer. This is his life story. So again, he's got to watch us telling you know, his story and yeah. hopefully not goof it up. So right now the truck's pulling up really fast. And then my car is getting started and pulling up behind the truck right now. I'm pretty sure I flubbed this Freaking block, you know. And Travis had to like put a, I think a, I think there's like a fake yeah, car engine start here or something. He did something to cover it up pretty good where I was like, But oh, it, was all, it was all your fault? Oh, 100%. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oopsie daisy, but you did a good job. Because right now, they're, this was actually super intense. This, this whole, this, this was hell for me at least. Yeah, no, for I, me I know too. For, I, for I, me I was going to say, because you're about to, this is like your first time riding. Yes. Yeah, we did. We did like maybe five or six takes uh, each oh, time. Oh, so you I are going to, you, you do ride. This is him. Again. Yeah. Oh, this is oh no, this is me. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I am. Oh, now, I, <laughs> now I'm worried he's backing for you. up a little bit different than Travis did. Yeah. yeah. He's, like, oh, he's oh, like, oh, so he is a put nice down guy. Your, put down your little, oh, you didn't put down your little shield. <laughs> you didn't put down your little shield. You're going to get bugs in your eye. 
I was a rebel. I was like, I'm getting out of work. It's a nice day out. <laughs> okay, so see, see the blinker, that car right there? So that's me. So I like try to pull out really calm. And then like, like about there, I just like gun it. And I go down another street to try to get ahead to catch the camera. And that was terrible <laughs> every time. Oh, Mike, you did it. Oh, you there did you go. It. A little Look shaky. You. Were you super scared? I was, I was pretty scared, but it did make it feel, or make me feel more comfortable because we did uh, navigate traffic and all those. Yep. I mean, why is there a, why is there a <laughs> car so stop? It's awesome. Yeah, or something, yeah. Oh, oh, did you know this truck was coming up though? Uh, I didn't, I was in the zone at this point. <laughs> I was in the All zone. I was caring about, let me stop at the stop sign. I knew, uh, Unlike Travis earlier, who did not stop at his yeah. car. Shout out to Lee Becker. You'll see oh, him on Lee. the left. Oh, uh, Lee, look at him. <laughs> he was a cause a ruckus during this whole You know what's so uh, funny is Lee is the sweetest guy, but like right oh, there, yeah. he does look like a badass. And this uh, <laughs> this is the, the county fair that we talk about where yeah. um, we had to go to the bathroom. Uh, if y'all remember, because we weren't supposed to go in the house on oh, breaks. That's right. We yeah. had to drive up the road to walk up the road to go there. They were very nice. Look at that. And he got timing right. That guy's supposed to get ahead. And then there it is. See, you There's see. So many that's details. the shot. Yep. So you good and no bugs in your eyes. Good. No. I was going like 20 miles per hour. Did you put, you didn't put your strap on either around your neck, did you? No. No, <laughs> no, 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 I, no, no. I was too focused on not crashing. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm waiting. And then I grab the camera, not so gently, and then I make a mistake that I'm angry about because we did a bunch Boy, of Boy, I think we should film this whole movie over again. Now <laughs> yeah, that you I should. see all these mistakes all you made. All over again. <laughs> all over again. Because I don't think Mike and I have any mistakes except not putting the strap on and not putting the shield down so I far. wouldn't even call those mistakes. Yeah. I would just call that, you know, like organic fluid movement with the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here we come. I eagerly await for you. Really that was a really good sigh right there, man. Yeah, I know you're like, no was a real deal. sigh of relief. So I'm... No big deal. Look at that. And boom. There we go. So Another day. We've got these dogs who are supposed to be vicious, right? And I meet them hours before. And I didn't realize I'm a dog whisperer. They loved me. They didn't want to protect me. They just wanted. So we had to really work them up to, you know, get them to bark and be upset because they were the sweetest little babies ever. And uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at. There's a yeah. there's a spot a coming up where there. the truck comes by. I have by. nothing to say. It's coming up. There's a, right here. So you see the truck, and then boom. I mean, that was not planned. That was just. I think me and Travis talked about that a lot. Of like, and I think we all experienced it with this movie particularly, where like every day it was different. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, it was like kind of like, know the things you have to hit, but like be, be, be willing to have the happy accidents. Yeah. That's one of them, but there's so many here. <laughs> so the dog's real mom is hiding <laughs> behind the couch because the dogs will protect her, not me. They just loved me. Um, and then we had to have other folks kind of on the floor like looking like they might be a danger because there was no danger. No dogs were hurt. They were just loved <laughs> through this whole process. So, so, but it's great because uh, this one looks looks angry and was not. So um, I don't know. I don't know if they had to add in dog barking to make it sound vicious. I don't know. Um, but I mean, the, a lot of the movie, you know, yeah, when you get into it, good. a lot revolved around these dogs. So this is an important, you know, two minute scene yeah. to understand this. And man, just looking at that outfit. <laughs> I'm only going to say it once. And um, I'll say it once, get it out of Yeah, I thought I got to keep it, but I gave it back to them so they could have it <laughs> for um, the reception opening night premiere. But maybe someday I'll get it back. To, you're so angst-ridden there, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I just remember so, that. So right, so look behind that, behind that poor woman is hiding behind the yeah. couch by the lamp. I have like a sweet spot for this area because this is where we would normally start. Mm -hmm. You know, so we would like, we'd show up. There'd be an hour or so before we'd get all the lights set up, kind of get everything ready, and this is where we would start. And so like, I have a sweet spot for this whole scene. Cause I remember I would just sit in here and like Travis would do a pep talk or whatever and you guys would be in your zone. We ended like, up improvising it, this a little bit more than script because I had said oh, to Travis at one point, I, yeah, well, yeah, okay, I was trying to be yeah. nice. I mean, we got all the important stuff out, but I'm like, with the dogs, there's no way I can, you know, go, 
down, down, sure. down, you yeah. know, so yeah. um, I, ultimately I had no idea how it was going to turn out, but I thought it turned, this scene turned out better than I, what we were doing. I'm like, I have no idea what just happened, right. but it's done. <laughs> I always say you do a good job here, Mike, because I think it's like finding that balance of like, like trying to be like, make sure that people know that you're not like a jerk. Right. You know, that you're not well, coming in being mean, that you're actually just like, like a, more of like concern for your mom to be like, you're not doing this right. You know, I think you do always do a good job. That's the whole that challenge balance. of the whole, the whole movie is, is right. making sure Right. Well, and again, even your character, the, the unrelated thing though, was also make sure the dogs were okay. You yeah, know, that they weren't traumatized yeah. and, you know, still get the angst of that scene out. But then look at all your angst right here. This was always a fun moment because it was like you, it, it felt like how you watch it in the movie because the, the, with just the cut, you just like, you'd, you'd go outside and then you'd do this. And this was like all of our wind down time. It was like, okay. But I loved how you just, you slowed it all down for us. Yeah. Take a second to breathe because like the first five minutes of this film, you're kind of just... Yeah, you're, you're like me. shot out of a cannon. Yeah, you know, and then the and next, the rest of it is where down. we tell the story. You have more patience than me. I'd always see you do it, and I would like be like waiting to pan with you, and I'm like, oh, he's still not going yet. <laughs> but I love that. He like, was taking. He was there. He was. He was like really feeling it. Yeah, I was feeling <laughs> that sunlight that was shining. Yeah, exactly. I was like, this is yeah, a good yeah. you're like, he's gonna hang. And he's also realizing we now have an hour and ten minutes of just talking. It's true. <laughs> it's true. This we're. St I, st I still feel like every time there was like nerves here, because it was like we just started technically, but we don't stop. Yeah. Yeah, and, and we, so and it's like a play. So again, yeah. for people, I I never never doing a movie before. For me, it was fine. It's like okay, now we're gonna do the play and we don't stop. But I guess in movies, people do like two pages and stop, and two pages and stop. So this was. Now we're gonna do it, and we didn't stop. Try to find no matter video what happened. village. For you people at home, find video village. That's your goal, because this is where they live. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they're hidden back there. And this was fun too, because they asked us to pull out pictures um, of ourselves that we're gonna use that they doctored up a bit um, to make us, you know, like there's pictures of my kids, but your head on them or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Travis's mom, but my head on her body in a picture. And so that was funny to watch. Like, yeah, you can see that there's a lot brown hair. Yeah. And then that was Travis's grandpa. Good dad, grandpa. I can't see that one. Oh, that was my prom picture. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look at me. And then that's Travis's mom. That one you're pointing to right now, but my face on her. This was always so hard because I genuinely never knew where the photo was that you were going to grab. And that, like, I feel like I was I, see, I, I can't even one. see it either. I that's yeah, actually my, my dad. Shit, yeah. uh, shout out my dad. He's, yeah. It's me and him. And, uh, and the oh, baby was my long. son Griffin. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you. I'm sorry to say. There it is. There's the photo. And then that's the significant one. So that's supposed to, to show them when they were younger in the same. Same spot. Same yeah. spot. Yeah. Nailed it with a truck too. Man. Yeah. All that natural light's still looking good. Took a couple Who rehearsals to get that. Just that a down. few, I think. You know? Yeah. And now. And now it starts. I didn't the trip. chairs we will live in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This moment, like I'm, I'm actually just thinking, I'm like, whew, we made it through that part. Um, now we have a whole hour and a half and there's going to be no cuts. <laughs> right. I don't know how and here it. comes neighbor, Jerry Martin. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was awesome. Jerry's great. Wait, do you remember? Hold on, let's see if it's here. The dog? Oh yeah. Do you remember that the dog? Random dog? I feel like it's in this scene. There it is. It's right behind him. See that white dog? Do you remember that dog? Yes. Right? Yeah, we don't yeah. know whose dog it was. No, it was... no. Because I remember before we shot, they're like, if this dog just happens right. to hang out in the thing, just let it it's hang It's not out. on a leash. It just was walking around. We tried to find its owner. and <laughs> We <laughs> ended up finding its owner, I though. Think, I right. think so. Or, or and the dog, again, the dog is fine. Yes. We, yeah. we but a lot of love. But yeah, it was, I mean, everything was, well, if something happens, just keep going. It, it was exactly. Okay. <laughs> if it rains, we'll keep we'll going. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's great. And I remember he kind of, he, he felt like he was tripping here a little bit. He, he got there. But again, the, the whole thing with the neighbors, it's setting up the atmosphere and the relationship mm -hmm. in the, yeah. the town and the people who live there and who knows what about what's going on in your house. 
I you know, know, there's no way of getting away. You know, everybody knows everybody. And, you know, that was one of Wendy's fears of, you know, the people knowing things and, you know, her being upset and afraid about that and wanting to get out, you know, not be in this claustrophobic, you know, town. And right on cue. Here she right comes, cue. lumbar right pillow and all. <laughs> this was always the toughest moment for me because... Um, You're like, here comes Lisa? Oh, God. Yeah, here, here comes, comes Lisa. I was like, we don't know what's going to happen. But it is. It's one of those like where I, I've built up frustration. But like, however we started this tone is where I knew if it was going to be a good good take or not. That's a good point. That's because I, I, yeah, that's a super good point where it's kind of like how you guys start to talk will really start to determine. So like right now, just out of curiosity, like are you thinking of your... Did you have the lines memorized enough that you were thinking them through? Or were you just thinking about like how you're gonna approach it? Or were you genuinely like, what are we about to talk about? So <laughs> <laughs> to I'm be just honest curious because I don't have any memories. Re the the initial like start with this dialogue, it was um, like I was thinking about what I was how I was gonna say it. Right. You know? Yep, okay. Um, but then once we get going here in about two minutes, then we're just full I'm fully engulfed and in what we're talking about, but it is, it's the toughest to start off the conversation. And I don't want to be too aggressive. You know, you want to find that balance like we were talking about before. Yeah, I could see, cause I mean, I had my cues on my end that me and Travis kind of like figured out that we're like, here's our cues, here's our references. But then I could imagine when I would watch you guys, I would, I could see it at times where like you would get cues from each other. So like you might say something and maybe you didn't say it exactly right, but you said enough that like, now Lisa knows, like, okay, I'm going to talk about this, you know, or like she'll say something to be like, well, we actually supposed to talk about this, but she'll say it in the right way. That I'm like, oh, I think they just corrected each other. Yeah, or like help that did happen a couple times. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, you know, with the two hander, again, with a with a play, with any, you know, where you're not going to stop, right? You have to have trust in the other person. And sure, we did memorize the script, but you know, when you're doing live theater, things happen, right? So you have to trust that the other person is going to either get you back or you're going to keep them on track. And you are the character enough to keep going. And, you know, I will say about you, Mike, it was a pleasure working with you and, and we could do that. Yeah. So, I mean, sure, I guess if somebody's sitting here reading the script along with us, are we word perfect? Probably not, but we're dang close and within remaining within the character right. and i would have some rather That's have somebody thing, I well i would yep. rather have yep. somebody remain within the character and keep the scene going than going oh i should have said and the other day instead of the other day totally do you know what i mean yep. that's how i work as I an totally actor i totally agree yeah because otherwise you break the story because you're just trying to trying say, to say the, word. the words yeah. you're not living it right because there are times where i think like i mean there was like, I know there was a, what did you do, Mike? There was something, you, it's like towards the end you would do like a, a scream or something, but you always did it a little differently. But it made it like also interesting because yeah. it was always different. So like it always felt more authentic because it was like never knew what to expect. And you know, and the other thing in, in uh, you know, this type of, of movie, play, show, whatever, we're playing real people, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So... Also, you have to find that, like, I, I don't know Wendy, I've never met Wendy, and you, you're trying to, whether I agree with things she's done, you know, you have to step back, and I can't, I had to perform this not judging her. I just had to be what she did, which sometimes as an actor, or even as an audience member, it's like, why the heck is that person doing, don't do that. Right. Well, I can't change what she did, you know, and it was the same thing with Mike. I would look at his character and go, Okay, I have a son. Why are you doing that? And <laughs> right. you had to just step back you don't and do that. be yeah. it, you yeah. know? So as silly as something she might say or want to do, or as much as he got angry or didn't get angry at the right points, we had to live the reality of, of the moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will say that me as a person and not, not the character of Jordan, who's based off Travis, the director, um, and I would study Travis and how he's a little bit more patient and like me studying him, at least I don't know how he is when I'm not with him, but, um, and I was like, I, I would not react this way. I would, I would scream. I would probably swear a little bit more. Right. And, uh, so that was something I really was conscious about with how I was talking to Wendy, you know, my, my favorite thing was to, cause I, I know Travis pretty well. So like, see, like 
like specifically in the motorcycle jacket and stuff, I would laugh my ass off because it would look like him. And I was like, hey, it's Travis. Like the jeans, the shoes, He's basically has like a style on repeat yeah. in all the best ways. Well, it was funny. <laughs> well, now that you say that during rehearsals too was interesting with the script hearing the way the, the show was scripted is how Travis talks. Yes. So then again, my, again, I, you know, Mike had to go out because sometimes I'm like, why is he saying blah, blah, blah? And then you would hear Travis talk and go, well, because that's how Travis would say it. Mm -hmm. I remember, like, I mean, I'm sh we talked about this so much, me and Travis, about, like, I think we did this. So we initially did, like, a test run of this whole thing at a friend's house. And that was a whole thing in itself of being, like, how do we shoot this? Blah, blah, blah. But, like, this took, basically, Travis was, like, holding me, like, by the horns because like everything in my being wanted to keep like moving the camera around because I'm like I'm getting bored let me make it interesting but we found like you just need to be patient but like my favorite part of this is like we still haven't seen the other side of the yard mm -hmm. you know there's like these little things that in our our heads were like secrets or whatever to like keep you engaged because like right now like hopefully maybe you're just starting to get old or something and then we're going to give you something fresh you know like so from a camera perspective I still think it's fun and I think it works well that like, if we just gave it all away right from the start, you know, like if we, if we turned around and you saw the garden, you saw the trees and you saw the guy working on his lawnmower, then you would already know the scene. But right mm -hmm. now we're still only giving you like the back of that shed, the back of the house and the neighbor over on the porch. And I still, I think it's just a fun thing that. No, oh, and that's interesting. Valuable. That's why you were so vital to this. You are the third actor in this. But it was interesting even in the, the written piece itself because, you know, when I first talked to Travis and stuff, oh, it's these two people sitting in the air talking. I'm like, does somebody really want to see that? I'm like, right. that's going to be interesting. And, it, you know, I, I can only speak for myself. It was. I mean, it was certainly interesting as an actor to play it. And then watching it after the fact and having a lot of people I know see it, they were engaged with these characters. And you can tell a story with just two people, with filming it, you know, in a certain way. And the people in the town that we're even talking about or the other family members are other characters. Yeah, so, sure, right. we didn't see them and they didn't have any yeah. dialogue, but hopefully if we did our job, job as actors and you know filming it they became characters within it like you you knew about these you know dad or or whomever so mm -hmm. uh, yeah I thought it was um, very interesting and then your hair became a whole thing too Mike put the hair up take the hair down put the hair up take the hair down <laughs> yeah, well we're sitting there like you yeah. said I mean yeah. we're sitting there for an hour and a half you got to make it interesting we got to switch up the appearance a little bit uh, I was gonna do an updo at one point, you know, just with oh, my hair, just do a little updo, but yeah. I was not allowed to um, do anything fancy. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't know you requested. That. I know I requested so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I will laugh because my hair was much more blonder, and I put this stupid rinse in it to get it a little lighter, and I've never got my hair back to the normal color. So thanks, Mother's Day. <laughs> And spending lots of money trying to get it back to, but anyhow. I remember, we, so we, for, I remember we looked this way so that corn stalks were like really low when we first went there and there was this big orange gate around it and then we went back and the corn was like 12 feet tall like it is right now, but it looks beautiful. And there's our, there's our lawnmower there's the guy. There's the lawnmower, yeah, keeping it interesting. That's awesome. That was a fun thing to come up with. Well, I don't remember um, when it was. We, I don't know if we passed it already or when the we had it, the whole ambulance or what was going on. Oh, that's later on. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit And the other neighbors there. started mowing their lawn. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. And it, again, yeah. you're trying to stay in character, but as an I'm going, oh my God, oh my God, what are we going to do? Is somebody going over and trying to stop them from mowing their lawn? Is somebody going to stop them? And I'm trying to say yeah. my lines and keep going. So many things going through your head. What I like about... Oh, there's our stick. Yeah. To, yeah. to, to place yeah. The, yeah. The, the, the chairs it's a social apart. distance. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did yeah. it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I remember people going, how are you filming this movie? You know, COVID. And I'm like, well, we're in a backyard and we are socially see, distanced. We are socially distanced, yeah. Um, this is a great moment because I think the first part up until this, um, it was kind of like frustration, but now, you know, it's Wendy, up, yeah. Wendy and Jordan are kind of just connecting, connecting on Star Wars and you're talking to me well, about my you, friends. Well, yeah, well, you had to see a moment where you understand why they do indeed love each other. Do you know what I mean? I mean well, that's what makes this film work is, is those, those 
checks and balances, those ups and downs, the roller coaster of it. Um, because if you had just one tone, obviously, throughout, um, they'd get bored. But because it's such a roller coaster of emotions. We're but I mean, to. isn't family like that? It's so funny yeah. again after having people watch this. Yes, there's varying degrees of what people, you know, their family members go through. But I mean, nobody is perfect and just lovingly, you know, having dinner every night talking about how great the day was. Yeah. So, you know, to see this snippet, I think makes us all feel better going, oh, everybody's got some, you know, some more than others, but. I love like like right now no lights and look how look how good that lighting is on you Lisa so good. Well, from, the lighting's mother, good. I wouldn't say it's good lighting. on me. Oh, and there's our little neighbors over there playing ball. Yeah, I always so felt good. so bad for them. They came <laughs> every yeah, yeah they, they had, always came yeah uh huh. And there. it was always like that was like and they're blurry. Well, so we, they don't we'd even. have like hit <laughs> moments where Travis would be like, if you can go look at them and like I I can't remember. But I feel like we never. We got a good moment of that. I, I'm glad. But there was a few. Well, yeah, there was a few times where we got really good moments of them. Yeah. But I don't know if they ever actually made it. But, but I, I, that's such a big part of this, though. Still, we're like, I, I feel like it probably. I don't know how it went for you guys, but for me and Travis, so much of it was like, it was like basically we know, we know how the football game is going to be played, but we don't exactly know when a certain play is going to happen. But we know what probably will happen. We just don't know when because like you guys are different every time in like a beautiful way. And like, I was different every time in maybe a beautiful way <laughs> because we had to truly like, in order for me to do certain things, like we kind of came up with this idea of like, I would motivate my camera until you let me, you know? So like, basically like if you watch, like Lisa, when you look at Mike, I'll, that gives me like an okay to look at Mike. Or like when Mike looks at Lisa, that gives me okay to look at Lisa. But I feel like you guys did the same thing to an extent where like every day was so different. It was kind of cool, but at the time, stressful. <laughs> well, no, well, here's a question, yeah. because I know Travis gave us some, you know, direction, like, at some points, like, look, you know, off to the left, look off to the right, look straight out. But, like, was he in your ear going, Gippy, or were you just doing, like, did you talk about it before and just do it? No, we, I mean, we got pretty, I feel like, detailed, considering, where we eventually came up with, like, a clock system. <laughs> and it was literally, like, I had it written down on my wrist. Okay. Where it was like, okay, go to, like, 3 o'clock go to this, you know, these kind of stages so I knew when to position myself based off of what the conversation was going to be. Because again, you know, and I don't know about you, Mike, but as an actor too, we had to be doing this and completely unaware of where you were. So yeah. I just had to do what I was going to do. And then sometimes I'd go, oh, he's behind me. Right. You know, and I'm not going to look at him, you know, but I've got to look over here. So if he happens to be there, that's okay. And I have to say in a good way, I was not distracted by you. Like yeah, once we started, yeah. Yeah, once we crazy. started, I'm like, I don't care where he is. This is what I have to do, you know, and unless you would have, you know, tumbled down and fallen, right. I wasn't, I was, I ignored you in a good way. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. Cause we, I was pretty close to you guys too. Yeah. Like, it's not like I was far away. Like this is a 35 mil. So I'm like probably like seven feet away from you right now. So it's not like it's like, you know, I'm distant enough. To did you like, feel he was close? Like, how, how did you feel, Mike? Well, I, yeah, after we did a couple of rehearsals of this with the camera um, and then realized and then got some like, uh, saw the footage. Um, I was like, oh, I'm looking away a little bit too much. So I am not aware of him, but at the same time, I am aware. See, of, you're a movie guy. I didn't look at the footage. I'm like, I cannot look at this if I look, <laughs> because you think look you at how I look, right? If I looked at it, I I couldn't. <laughs> you think it would like damage you? Yeah. It would. Da it, it damages uh. me now. <laughs> See, like in no, real life. I'm, I'm totally in the care. Do not get me wrong. And I sound so vain, and I'm not because this was great. But like, if I would have been watching it, I would have went. Oh, when I turn my head that way, this looks... So I just needed to do it because I'm a naive non-movie person. Like, if I'm yeah. on stage, I don't care what I look. So people see it once. I do now go, well, people could see this more than yeah, once and freeze it. Want, and right? I'm okay with that. Right. I'm just saying I didn't watch any of the stuff. See, I and I probably should have. I might have been better had I watched. Uh, yeah, I was pestering Travis. I was like, hey, can you just send me the footage of, uh, oh, of what we did last And he night. would send us stuff, and I'm like, mm, if I watch it, I'm going to judge myself before doing it, and there's nothing I can do about it but be what I need to be. So. No, I totally get that. Yeah. 
I, I think it's funny. If I were young and beautiful like you, oh, I would have um, tried beautiful. to tried to look at it and go, "Yes, my my beautiful blue eyes look <laughs> lovely when I just they do them look up pretty, this uh, way." Dude, your eyes look amazing. <laughs> they dude. do. Let's not. Hey, in yeah. real life, they don't. It, I don't uh, care, this, man. The great no, wait, like, 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 let's see if my eyes look that beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, Gorgeous. there they are. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do like the grade turned out really good. The lighting looks good. Like, I don't know. That's still a proud moment for me to know that, like, we tried so many different things to be like, could we light this? Or, like, whatever. And we just had to find the right. I mean, because that's what we started. Well, we started not the same time every day, every time, because the sun changed so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'd we actually, did. It was like. It, well, we, it was relatively the same Within time. Within five minutes. Or but I mean, if there minutes. was clouds over Well, that was the that biggest was thing. Change. Yeah, it was like there was so many. There was one tank where, like, Basically, the last half hour was like, it's too dark. <laughs> we, my, kept, you, we kept going, but it was like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> here's my question, because I mean, I know nothing about film, as I keep saying. Like, so this can it is, the ca what kind of camera is it that, I mean, this is... This is the Alexa Mini um, that we shot on, and... Uh, I mean, it's a great camera, you know, it's one of the best cameras. Well, yeah, because I mean, this is all natural lighting. Mm-hmm, yeah. And... But I, I like to think that a lot of it was just, just like any camera, like it can look, look good or internal it can look acting. bad. Yeah. You know? Thank you. Yeah, that yeah, is, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. right No, there. it's me That's going. That's a gorgeous it's shot. It's me going, God, I wish I had some mascara on. Damn it, <laughs> oh, Maria, God. damn it, who made me not wear mascara. Thank you. But, you know. See, like in real life, you might have your head down. You wouldn't be cheating. I mean, it's the same as the stage. It's true. So you want to keep, yeah. keep it up. But, but we just did, you know, they captured what we did, yep. you know, and that was... Again, I, that's interesting. I mean, knowing what I know now after doing this, you know, for my first time, I do wonder if I would do it differently. Do you know what I mean? Now that I've seen, I don't know. I'm like glad I, I'm glad I didn't know anything. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Sure. I'm, yeah. For yeah. me. Yeah. Well, because I mean, you could be right. You might have, you might have watched the footage and that could have shaken you up too much. <laughs> like I, I can see that because everyone's different, you know? Yeah. Well, it's interesting over the years when you hear actors talk about, oh, I don't watch it. And I would always go, oh, be at, well, right. you know, I don't know if we can swear. Bull, you don't watch it. Of course you watch it. And then doing this, I go, oh, I get it. But, you know, I, I don't want to watch it. Yeah. Just tell me my director and my camera, guy, you know, my yeah. scene partner are going to go, okay, that was good. And then I have to just go, okay. Yeah, and trust it. Yeah. Or for I me. Mean, and again, it's, it's different for everybody. There's also like, you have to have a little bit of willingness too. Like, I mean, at least for me, like, just because... Like I watch this and I see like 9,000 mistakes I made and I get kind of angry at it to be honest. But it's also like, it's kind of like, it's what you, like right there I'm like cutting you off and I shouldn't be and I was probably trying to- I thought that I too was, when I, I saw I was probably it. trying to fix something, you know? But like, I mean, but seriously, there's so many little nuances, but like I could tell you 10,000 of my mistakes and you can tell me 10,000 of yours and I probably only noticed three of yours. But keep in mind, people you know? have to know too. What did we film it three times? I think it was like five. Three or four. Three or we four. Did, no, we three did or four, four real ones, four. but then uh, five. Total, well, there was a rehearsal, a rehearsal one, right? There was a rehearsal but one. But here's the thing. That's what we had. Like, So again, people who are doing movies are months and months and months going, okay, now we're going to do this page of dialogue. Let's do it 30 times. We didn't do that. No. It was four no. times from beginning to end. Boom. Done. So what we did was what we did. And, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I... I you had a hefty amount of rehearsals, though, right? Like, I mean, between you, with you and we rehearsed it like a, a play, month, pretty much, like uh, a yeah. month, a month. Like yeah. we rehearsed it, but again, we rehearsed it like a play. But again, it's sitting like a play. Totally, yeah. You know, all we're doing is sitting. So we'd get in the backyard and we would rehearse the lines. There was no, you know. So, so did you have cues? Like, so for instance, I would imagine in a play that, like, okay, we're in the kitchen now. So I yeah. know I'm about to talk about the kitchen. But here, you're just sitting. sitting. So like, did you have like maybe visual cues or something or anything besides your conversation? Well, there were certain topics when we switched to, uh, that was the most difficult thing is when you had to switch a topic, you know, when we just go off track. Um, I know there's a couple times, I, and one time we did kind of get Circle lost in the, yeah, we, we got lost, but that's us trusting in each other. I, you know, not calling you out, but there was one time where we were forgetting where we were going and then I just oh, no, repeated I think a line. It was you. I think I remember. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to stop the video right now was, and find it because nothing I personal. It was fair. But, no. I feel like I feel like I'm I'm both that of you doing it. I definitely <laughs> throughout the takes it was either of you at some point. I know for a fact. I'm in, I'm interested. Oh, in it, was, both of us. it was yeah, small. It would just be like you just be like you know like 
Are you talking about, you know, whatever? And he's yeah. like, well, yeah, 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 you know, or, or like, well, like, I love we'll, the one part where Mike's like, well, I'm just talking fast. You know, like, I love that recovery. That's we're going to so circle great. around this. Yeah. When I get my DVD of this, I'm going to sit there with my script. There you go. And then there I'll you let go. you know who it was. But neither here nor there to go back to your question. In a play, you are correct. Like, we go, you've got blocking, right? So you go, oh, well, once I walk to the kitchen, this is where we talk about right, this. Right, that's your cue. We did not have, like, oh, when I lean over to the left in my chair, let's right. go on. I mean, there, there wasn't. Um, I don't think. I mean, well, I, but I mean besides your hair being put up, and I don't remember going. Oh, when Mike puts his hair up, we're going to talk about Country Fair. Um, <laughs> so did you even have any visual cue that you made up in your head to be like, well? I'll no, I think I just had. A rem I think you just I had to really remembered listen. what. Yeah. It was listening, and you we knew the script, yeah, sure, right? Sure, so yeah. this is fun. I like this little push-in moment. This is great. Travis did a great job with the music and stuff here. I feel like there's. There was maybe even moments that I didn't realize were as powerful as they were until you watch it. And music, music, you know, and, and the, the music sound. did do not, you know, because music can either add or detour. Like 100%. Bad music 100%. can be like, yeah. you know, forcing people to feel something. And I, I, I did feel it was, and again, I mean, we never heard it till we saw it. Sure, yeah. But it's fun to kind of hear the the moments of the characters like in a different light. You know? Right. Because you can hear it live and you still feel it. But to actually feel it the way that it was intended at a certain drop or a moment, I think is awesome. Going back though to that previous scene where the light leak was coming in, that was like a big deal for us because we initially set this up. We were like, we're gonna get like this cool, like the whole idea was like we're gonna get like the whole part of the day. We're gonna get like sunset. We're gonna get blue hour. Get a little bit of night. Like everything's just gonna be awesome. And the, like, almost every take we got, we didn't really get the sunset except for this, and this one. This is this is needed, right? and right yes. here. What we're... This is great. And this is We're like a big moment. Out my yep. Voice. yep. I, like like exactly like that. I never like envisioned. I just would keep hearing you talk. Yeah. But like when you right. say it in the edit, I'm like, oh, it makes so much sense, and you truly do feel like you're kind of lost with her. Yeah, it's a nice another breath. It's just a switch up to uh, keep you engaged as a. An and audience, again, this shot think. too just shows the fact that almost all she's hearing is blah, 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 right, right. Yeah. You know, I mean. She's listening, but she's not, which is half the problem of everything, there's you know, the with what's going on. Oh, there, they're, see, they're, they're not blurry now. now. But this is like, this is such a, I mean, I think, I remember having this conversation with Travis and we talk about like trying to give breaks because you do get like a little, I don't want to say stressed, but like you get a little like watching a one or especially, you get like almost like your brain inherently says like, I need a break. And I remember like, until I first watched it and this break happened with the sound, I totally understood it. Because right now is the first time where like you kind of are like, Whew. Yeah. Like, but again, I, you know. and it does set up the community they live in. I grew up in a yeah. very small mm -hmm. town similar to this, right? Um, Alden. And it was like that. When my neighbors were out in the backyard and you were out in the backyard, you were out in the backyard. Sure. You yeah. know, if I was going to be arguing with somebody, they were going to hear everything that was going on. So again, it sets up the, you know, a lot of Wendy's angst um, of, of what's going on. And it's funny because I remember like looking back even like there's we would just talk about like can we film it somewhere else <laughs> you know like or anything like we were, like film it at your dad's like you know like all these little and we had there's a million reasons why we could have done it somewhere else but I think but then but there's one reason why you exactly. shouldn't exactly yep, yep and it's and this is where it needed yeah. to be it, it needed to be here I, totally I think agree. no look no, at me look at me being so it needed to be here <laughs> But I mean, it needed to be for the story that had to be told. Well, this is where it actually happened, so. No, exactly. And so it does, like, you know, if people really see the value there or not, that's, yeah. that's up to And I have to tell myself. you, okay, so never being here ever in my life, I've now, since filming this, passed this house and this street, like, 20 times. That's hilarious. Going to, like, because uh, I have a friend who lives in Pennsylvania, or going, and I that's keep going by, awesome. and I'm like, that's my house! Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, I will never not... Uh -huh. Ever remember that it's actually very cool to That's go by there now. I remember so like so like throughout this there was a whole thing I won't go on a rant, but where we had to figure out like exposure changes and like this is just getting darker. Like so right now whether you know it or not, the day is getting darker mm -hmm. considerably, especially from a camera's perspective. Your eye usually doesn't notice till so it gets dark dark, but a camera only reads what it reads. So like it starts so like right now we've probably like gone gone down like a stop or two from when we first started and I'm just like manually changing the gain in the camera and you see it it's a hard like 
But like basically, and I don't know if we ever even tested it. I just like was like, Travis, we'll, we'll just like fix it and post. <laughs> and so if you look, at like technically at one point it got darker and now it's bright again. Cause I'm slowly just making the sensor. Did you make that noise in your head when you did it? Did you go dunk? <laughs> It felt like it. Every okay. time I did it, I was like scared. I was like, I hope. Which again, I'm very excited to watch this again and then mentally hear that when we get to dunk. that point. I'm <laughs> always going dunk. <laughs> but he did a good job hiding them because you. Yeah, really, I couldn't notice. No, you I don't notice. Him. You don't really see him unless like I don't. I don't know if anyone would see him unless you talked about it. Right. But like technically, all these exposure changes are happening over time. Where you'll see it get darker, it'll get lighter. Even though the sun is just going down continually, it's because we're making all these exposure shifts to just adjust for how dark it's getting. I think, I mean, honestly, one of my, my biggest wins here was like our sound guy, Ben Jura, like him being okay with actually letting a lawnmower run while we were recording. Because <laughs> I feel like most sound guys would be like, you gotta like fake it because it's gonna, you know, mess up the sound. Well, what but, is the thing? We had to go back and do a couple of lines. Oh, that had, happened. What's that called? Again, I'm not a movie person. What's ADR. it called? ADR. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so that was fun trying to match, and it was only a couple times. I think you had a couple more mic than I yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, there's a that I think that moment's coming up in a little bit, but we have to talk about that because that was <laughs> it was rattling for both of you, and it did a good job of kind of like being like, yeah, this happened. We can get past it because it was like we can't stop. No. We won't stop. You know, like it was like kind of weird. It felt like a train. We're but in like, my mind, I'm going. If you get a car, you're going to keep going. We're just going to figure out how to get the car off the train. <laughs> but in my mind, I don't know about yours, Mike. I was going, is somebody going to go over and tell that man to stop mowing his lawn? <laughs> like, and you're trying to remember your next line. I'm like, I would, because I, I, I'm a forceful person. I'd be over there going, we're filming over here. Stop that. <laughs> Those are the moments that make it fresh for me. Like, especially if you're feeding off of it and uh, making it into the world then it's like, okay, now everything else after this is new, you know, because mm -hmm. you have to react. Also. Right, right. I love all your little subtle cues, Mike, like the, you know, the lean backs, and you have a lot of, you, you, you get, both of you gave a lot of these little physical things that were kind of like, would tell you, like, like right there, you're doing the, oh, my back hurts, you know, and such depth. <laughs> Lisa does a great job. Like, she's very still, but when she, she's very, um, specific with the movements she makes I think which uh, luckily like I'm a pretty fidgety person but I think the character is as well so it worked out mm -hmm. very well yeah. it's so pretty but it is interesting and I think Mike you and I talked about it a lot too being um, on stage it's all I don't want to say always bigger better I haven't had to do that film where like you need to be still yeah, because the yeah. camera's picking up everything. And I know talking to Travis, I said, I'm probably at times doing way too much. Mm. But again, from what Travis said, it works for Wendy. So, you know, if whereas another character, sometimes, you know, a subtle eyebrow thing is all you need to do. So mm. that, that was new for me. You've done film before. Yeah. And I know we did have a complication a little bit because I was talking so soft and then you And I'm like, like what? What are you saying? Me. What? Hey, what you say, boy? Yeah. And we'll get to it later on in the film when we uh, make some adjustments like, uh, uh, what is the word? Um, where I get up, I don't want to spoil it, but um, where you could not hear me at all. Right. I'm just like, they're yeah. having an internal monologue. <laughs> but again, as your mother, I'd be going, I can't hear you. Are you talking to me? <laughs> what? What did you say? I said, uh, but you, again, you did film where you like, you can't be like, I'm a generally loud person. So like, I have yeah. A so it, yeah, it was very interesting. Well, and this works so well because throughout this whole thing, we're talking over each other. Um, a little bit, or just like our lines are inter intertwining mm -hmm. right at the end, which makes it so uh, grounded. I mean, that's. So, again, question for film, because I know nothing about this. How do you blur out one person? Like, so does that happen naturally? Or big what? shout out to Luke Hag. So, mm -hmm. he's in Video Village, which is in the garage right behind them. And so, he's pulling focus wirelessly. So, he's got a feed. And he's pulling focus. So you don't know he's doing that as you're filming? No, I know he's, I know oh, he's okay. doing it, and I'm worried about it. <laughs> because <laughs> I have to trust him just as much, because basically, he's just as, he has just as much pressure as me, in theory, because he could just screw this whole thing up by like messing up the focus. Oh. So like not only am I have this choreography, but he also has to have this choreography of knowing when to grab 
like right here is a great moment of it where he has to mm -hmm. grab Mike and he has to go to you and and Travis is, is just napping while all of this is oh, going yeah, on. Yeah, Travis is so. just like I trust my team. I don't think he's on <laughs> you know, set. You know? I mean, there is. I mean, and there's so many times where you sometimes have to own up to it. You know, like there would be. Like right now, maybe for instance, like in my head, I'm like, I should go to Lisa and I want him to pull. So I would sometimes give a subtle camera movement to be like, look at her. Like I probably did it right there. Yeah. And he, and he took it. But then there's times where Travis is like, no, 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 don't, don't bite. And I'd be like, bite, bite. And Travis would be like, don't bite. And I'm like, okay. Do you see what Lisa's so, doing we, right now? Focus on her. It, it focus, was, I say. It's true. There was a big battle of like where I was like, I feel like the moment's here. But Travis is like, it's clearly not. Don't go there. And it was a whole thing, but Luke just killed it. Oh, good. Because we're wide open and we're moving a lot. And But yeah, he was, he's our focus. Point. But isn't it funny? I mean, all the years you can spend going to movies, like, I have no idea all that stuff is sure. going on. I just watch a movie and go, oh, I like that. And there's just so much, even for a small movie like this, going on behind the scenes to make it work. A no budget movie, <laughs> might I ask, you know? I was just gonna say that that moment right there where I had to, uh, Oh, uh, is like, that it? It's like, oh, you know what I, 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 <laughs> when I originally oh, did it, you found I did it. this one voice. And, oh, your voice you did? Yeah. Oh, I remember uh, that, because sometimes it was like a little weird. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, and I struggled with it, and that's something we had to do in ADR. Um, oh, you did? Like, yeah, and I was oh. like, no, I thought You're I was not, done. Uh, Say, uh, move it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, is this the Sopranos? <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, there they was points out. too where I had us do people, I talk about people, and Travis said well, I couldn't do their voices because the point was, like Lisa as an actress is going, all right, well, I'm going to do so and so's voice now. He's like, Wendy would not right. do their yeah, voice. No, I'm like, voice. But I would do a great voice, I'm telling you, I'd be good. Oh, sweater's coming off. Yeah. Oh, it's getting uh, a change of pace, yeah. <laughs> look at the, I, I still like, I remember, like, look at the paint, mm -hmm. you know, on the hands and the details on the shirt. Oh, look at my band aids. Come on. The band aids, look at the that. The band aids, you're all, you just you're have all bad and bruised. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And the smoking barrel. That's fun. I remember we like, when we were in like the, whatever, the high in the sky phase of talking, me and Travis were like, we're going to have like sparks come over in front of the camera. We're going to shoot the whole thing at 120 frames, but they're going to slow it down for just random moments. We didn't do any of it, but it would have been cool. You're talking a lot of tech there. Sure, 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 yeah. But we did have... That's interesting though. That would have been cool. We, if that but been like, cool. I, I like how we married, like how we like kind of like, I guess it's like the idea of like seeing where we wanted it to go and where it actually came, yeah. but still where it came was really cool and powerful. Like when that scene comes where it ends up just being like a you know, fire behind her is still just, I think, is effective mm -hmm. and more realistic for a, you know, 10-person crew or whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I think it was the premiere when we uh, did that at North Park. There was a lot of moments where when, like, we first filmed it or when we were actually acting, um, where I didn't think there was going to be a lot of laughs. But those, and that was key. And I, that was, dude. And they were appropriate. You yes. know what yes, I mean? Yes, yes, Because yes, yes, sometimes yes. there can be laughs like if somebody's uncomfortable or they think, and, and right. the laughs came in parts that, that seemed natural. At, at least it was that because they were invested in, into the characters. I remember having a conversation with Travis and at the premiere he was conflicted on whether Me like too. those were good or yeah. those were bad, yeah. but it was because they were very invested in the characters and they were they were more so dumbfounded by Wendy's And like, sometimes actions. it is funny. Well, it's right. like, what the Because well, what else do you do? If you're uncomfortable, you laugh at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I really liked, I, I was pleased with the reaction that the audience had. I'm so glad you brought that up. Because I think that was like, it was kind of eye-opening for a lot of us, I think. Because mm -hmm. we were just so, we are so close to it. That also you just like, you would just like forget about almost what they're saying at some point. And this is like, some pretty incredible back acting. Um, I, I do talk to my students about it a lot. And I mean this in a good way. Because you could sit there for this time period and we were still relating something. Right. But mm -hmm. it wasn't a friend shot, you know. And I, yeah. I think it's a very cool shot to, you well, know. Well, it's about being a magnet to the camera. Like for me, yeah, you obviously were, you I'm cheating. Me. I'm Look cheating my voice. <laughs> like uh, yeah, yeah. like, you were like, do you see these blue eyes? <laughs> Well, I was, I was a little, I was a little jealous because I, even in the, even though we're in character most of the time, I'm still obviously thinking, I'm like, hey, that camera's on uh, Lisa a little bit too much. Oh, uh, never. <laughs> if you watch it, it's all about you. They're like, don't look at her too so, much. So let's do a test. So, so technically, let's, so right now, 
like Mike, you gave me permission, so I want to look at her. Now you're looking at him. So theoretically, my idea was like whenever or Travis and me came up with this idea of like whenever someone would look at each other, they'd give me per like right there. I was like, oh, you kind of looked away. Yeah. So I shouldn't have kind of bit because it felt more natural that when Lisa were to look at you or you were to look at her for me to pan then. If I just went without you looking, it felt uncomfortable. Like, especially after time where I would just decide to be like, well, here's a big moment, I'm gonna look over here. So it was really interesting because sometimes you guys wouldn't look at each other at the right, not the right time, but the time that I wanted you to. Right. Yeah. But if you watch, you'll see like wherever there's permission, you know, air quotes, it's like you're looking at him, so I'm like, okay, now I can look at him. You know, I'm like, okay, now he's gonna look at her, I gotta wait for you to look at her, and then I'm gonna go to you. You know, when the moments allow. So right there, it's probably like, hold on him, because he's saying something of importance, but it was really a... Everything Dance. Mike said was important. Everything. <laughs> but yeah, and especially in the back shots, that gave us um, privilege to look at each other. But when you're, Aaron, when you're like in the front, we can't look at each other too much. We have to look ahead and say our lines and kind of. Ah, oh, dude, I never noticed that. That's a really good point because you guys do look more ahead when I'm in front of you. And right now, you would never do this while I was in front of you. No, because then you'd just see my wow, man's so You guys know what you're doing. <laughs> That's super cool. I honestly never noticed that at all. Yeah. I'm so crooked right now. Travis probably helped fix it, but still. <laughs> that easy rig only did so much. Oh, busted out the phone. And did you really put those numbers in there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> at times I stopped looking at the phone because I was like, that's not, that's not accurate. <laughs> I remember the one time I did and I could tell you weren't doing anything. I was like, I'm just going to like, give it a don't glance. Focus yeah, that. yeah, then I'll get off of it. It's most important to know that I have a flip phone. <laughs> I exactly. I just wanted to give the audience a break from the view. And that's all right. Wendy knew the numbers. She could figure it out. I remember, so the lawnmower break is coming up, so it, eventually, but it's going, that's John Kehoe rocking that lawnmower back there, <laughs> just going in with circles, that, with that headlamp, on. headlamp on, and all that, but he was like, he's a cue, I think, so you just, it looks like you almost looked for the cue, too, I can't tell, because he's, I don't know, if it's supposed to be kind of coming up, but it's, he had probably some sort of, he had a, he did, he was he giving did, him yeah. a cue, and I think, I, because we did this take a few times, so there was like, a bunch of times it was like right on cue, and a bunch of times it wasn't. I feel like this time it was like somewhat on cue. And this was the only time we got, I think it was Sherry that was cueing him. They get a headset on, and Sherry was like kind of doing all these random little cues and helping out with the light cues and all this stuff too. But he's floating out there. Let's see if we get a glimpse of him. There's the side of the tractor. But yeah, it comes up in a bit. Yeah. We'll find yeah, and I have to talk to him, you know, so you have to hope he's there and yeah. go, hey, yeah, you know, buddy. But the, do you, so, rehearsal it rained yeah but we just like we just played through it because we we're like well it might rain You're like it might mm -hmm. rain and we kind of got to do it because remember he so john like in rehearsal john got off the tractor and like came over we had made a whole scene out of it he like brings over an umbrella yeah yeah we just, well, we just, kept just improvising yeah it's right it, but it was all just like <laughs> and you were still like trying to like bring like the conversation into it and all that <laughs> it was so great and this is where yeah, yeah, because he brought that big umbrella There's over. the umbrella right there. And yeah. it was like, well, we're going to keep going. What, you know, what were we going to do? Yep. And yeah, I remember, like, you did a good job standing characters. Like, oh, yeah, thank you. Go. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you go, let's go in the house, honey. <laughs> I know, but right? we can. No, no, no. no. The let's dogs. get the umbrella. Yeah, let's go get the umbrella. But we kept going. Yeah. No, no and that was a great example of us just feeding off each other and, and knowing our characters and where the story had to go. And he was great with bringing that, that umbrella over. It's like, oh, thanks. It's like, apparently there's an argument, so you need to sit outside and keep talking. And yes, this is where a big moment, you just right, laid me, is, yeah. like, hit me with, some, like, wait. Oh, and then it's like, here's our neighbor. Hi, buddy. <laughs> yep. He goes and gets me. Stay. He's really good to me. Nice. Yeah, the lawn looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, I love, like, the awkwardness of this conversation because it felt, like, very relatable. Yeah. Where it's, like, kind of like, what? You know, like, you know, I can't understand someone or... Well, just another breather for the audience, too. Totally, okay, totally, you know? yeah. Because kind of tension is... And again, showing here. the connect with the neighbors, with mm -hmm. what's going on, no matter what's happening here. Oh, here comes the noise. Here it is. <laughs> you look at look at Mike's laughing, and he doesn't want to because <laughs> because right now the freaking largest industrial grade lawnmower starts up like ten feet away from us. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how loud it was? Yeah, it, was no, it was like it was like there's a lawnmower, and then this guy had like you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at, look look at, at it. 
<laughs> You're just trying to play it off like, yeah, I, I ignored it. <laughs> right. But that's what I'm saying. Because I think Wendy would, but like, I, you know. Uh, oh, but Wendy's mind is going, somebody get over there. But that's yeah. a good awesome. example of kind of like how you had to work with it. And like, also like, like I'm glad you, I'm glad it, you acknowledged then. it. Yeah, because like, if I was sitting there, I wouldn't have just ignored it. Right. Like, would have been like, what the, you know, yeah. like someone's making noise. Yeah. But I can't, I don't, maybe it's off now. I'm not sure when it, it, it was, because I remember when we first watched it, when I, when I first watched it, like at the theaters, the ADR wasn't as good. <laughs> and I was really self-conscious because I was just like, oh boy, because like, they, you know, Travis tried his best to hide it and it just, there was still a lot of errors. Yeah. And uh, it felt like 10 years, <laughs> but like, I'm sure it was. 15 seconds of that lawnmower going on. Oh, it was, it was, it was, it was, it felt like a long, it was so loud. It was just yeah. like, as soon as that mower went off, it was like, <laughs> but again, you know, onward you go. What are you right. going to do? I was going to say, cause someone's over there talking to that guy right now. And we're just like all, that's why it was great team effort. You know, like all the different people that did. But again, naturally you're stuff. just saying that if we were sitting in our backyard, we're not going to stop talking because the sure. lawnmower right, is going right. next yeah. door. Yep. But we as actors were going, we've got to get this, sh this shoot in today. Mm -hmm. so. Look how much the lights changed. So like in the beginning, all the sun was hitting there. It's, it's gotten a not a lot, well, probably. See, you've got that eye. I still, I don't, I mean, I'd have to really sit down and concentrate. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's like you, you literally see, you know, sunset to nighttime in Gary. See, like, and this, this is, is where, happened. this is the part where Jordan and Wendy are connecting again a little bit, like starting to lighten up. You're talking to me about your boyfriend. I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me actually engage in this. Let me give her the benefit of the doubt and let me see if, uh, this guy that he's she's talking about is legit and so, she's happy that you're okay about it yeah see like in that the oh, look at you yeah, like, yeah. what was is, your because so my experience with this movie or script is like the whole beginning is like i get it you know i i get it and then right here and like and on it just was like oh i love that because it was very relatable the idea of like I could see my mom doing something like this or something like that. Really? Where you probably, I, I mean, I know someone in my life that could probably act this way. Where it's just like, they're totally normal, healthy people, but they just might not be all, you know, acting right sometimes. Oh no, well they make choices that might not be the ones one should make. Right, so like, what was your hook moment for you guys when you like- Well see, I read it and go, you can't make this up. Mm. That's how I looked okay. at it, because okay. like, made up you would and go, I, you I can't could. believe it. <laughs> and I don't what was your reaction, Mike? Uh, it's just, it was super relatable to me, because like, me and my mom have a similar relationship. Um, so, you know, the only difference is, with the script, I wouldn't have talked to my mom the way that Travis navigated throughout this whole conversation. So, would you um, say you've been more calm or? No, it, it'd be, so <laughs> something I told Travis and cause Jordan doesn't understand any of the medications that Wendy's on and it gets brought up a few times but they don't go into detail about it. Uh, so I guess Jordan is naive right now about like what actually you know, how is she reacting different off the medication? I see what you're on. saying. Okay. And, but my mom, I was already, I, like I knew everything about you it. You understood it. I understood so yeah, it more. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I guess it was easier for me to go back and be like, okay, let me wipe away the memory of knowing what this is all about and right. how I would react for pretend, the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of act. If the, <laughs> <laughs> I am, I, I just, I find it enticing because when I first heard it, it like, it wanted, like, it made, it made me angry, like, as it happened, because I could feel, like, myself in a conversation with someone like that, where they're just so, like, blind, or whatever, and, like, for whatever reason, whether it's medication, or just, like, the type of personality they are, or their insecurities, but it, like, I don't know, this, so, like, this moment right here connected with me, specifically, where she's just, like, yeah, it's all great, you know, and you're, like, wait, what? You know, like, this is okay, you know, and as you get further along, you're just, like, this is not okay. Yeah. Right, well, and again, I'm a fixer. I like to fix things. Oh, like, oh, okay. this, you know, so I had to be so the So you're person. truly pushing it back. Yeah. Well, I had to be the person who needed to be fixed, A, and then also not judge Mike Jordan going, why aren't you fixing me? <laughs> you know, so it was, it was a very let go and just be this person making bad choices. And, you know, she thought they were the right choices. You yeah. know, she wasn't doing it to, to upset people. This, these were the choices she felt 
you know, were right and why are people upset with me? Yeah, I think this is the part where you're explaining or talking to me about your uh, boyfriend in, yeah. in Florida. And so I'm like trying to take it all in, trying not to judge. Yeah, the but bottom there's that's that's trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a trigger right yeah, there's there. Some, there's some cues right oh, there. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can feel it though. I was feeling or what yeah. I was thinking, but I... Yeah. I can't have to get out. Yeah, I'll rewind it a little. I, just to say that, you know, Mike's transition from happy, happy to the more details is, is nice in yeah. the sense of like... Because she starts to say like he's developmentally disabled. Yep. Doesn't, you know, she's like, okay, that's one red flag. Yeah. That's uh -huh. another red flag. Yeah. And it's like, okay. And just to give you a heads up, coming soon is the and ND this. filter switch. Oh, fun. Yeah, I'll, so, I'll see it. So I'll, I'll be able to yell. You'll see the camera does a, you'll see a fake zoom in. I was going to say, out. I'll see it. Yeah. Or a fake zoom in. I'll see it. Yeah, I'll see it. Yeah, I'll see it. But we're on the transition in the uh, sound or the trans whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here it goes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, oh, he's he's great. He's just different. <laughs> I just like I like to think of like I don't know if I would ever explain the person that I'm in love with to be like he's a little slow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, there should be some. Okay. Yeah, there should be some issues. You're making the face right now. Yeah. <laughs> but like, again, as oh. a child, how did you relate to that? Like I'm giving you all these things, going, but he's this and this and this. Well, it comes from a place, I think, where Jordan was is trying so hard to stay calm throughout this whole thing. And, you know, had a, a break. So right here, hold on. So right here, we're about to do a little shift. So I come back and I pause, and you guys are going to pause. And right there, there's the cut. So right there, we had to, oh. so right there, there had to be a cut. And right I think, but literally, we right there, that was crazy because we literally stopped for like 10 seconds. Yep. It was like, hold your breath yep. and then go back in. So that's what this is like. So that's how dark it's got. So I started off with like a quarter ND and then I had to take off. This is my last ND filter I got rid of and being like, okay, and I adjusted my iris or whatever. Oh, that's interesting. But that's where the cut that. is and that's why you guys had to pause. And I was always, I don't know, I, was, never I was always worried if you guys would pause or not, but you did and he hit the cut well and yeah. But I'm sorry, Mike, I just wanted no, to make this point so out. No, so he's got to take in all of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a lot to unfold. That was the biggest challenge, is just like, oh, there's so many, so many emotions, you know, I'm too mad. So I gotta ask, and like, and this is so different, because this is unique, where it's like maybe more like a play. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? <I> love... What? <laughs> That's a very normal reaction for what has yeah. been said. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, this is the bit of a red flag. Yeah. This is the moment of five wives, right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah. And I remember at the premiere that got a huge response from yes. the audience because my reaction, obviously, Jordan is playing the audience. Yes, in a way, yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. So, yeah. like, whenever I react like that, they're like, "Yes, please!" Like, that's exactly how we were feeling told. <laughs> It is. I love. I love your face. You're getting really animated now. You're, and she you're, just you're doesn't understand. It. Yeah, it's like, it. but I, you know. Well, it's different because this is like you know, this one's different, and that was technically only three times or four but times. But again, whatever, you know? here's the thing: you can't make this up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. This is the no. thing that makes this whole movie so unique. It's real. So yeah. like, whether you believe it or not, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to play out. So, you know, whereas if it were a made-up movie, you would go, Oh, God, that never happened. Well, yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that was the biggest thing when we were doing, uh, throughout the rehearsal process um, and working with Travis, he was breaking down those moments. Okay, this is, you know, and putting it into a, uh, sections. And then the next section, okay, this is a different tone a little bit. And then, but you can't go all out super build, quick yeah. you know you have to crescendo throughout these emotions and then you can dip down a little bit but then you kind of go on eight and then you dip down to six and then you go uh, to ten obviously by the end of it um. <clears throat> so for me it felt like a lot up until this point i was like kind of getting through like even holding the camera like I'm making my way there and like from here on out it's like i'm very involved and i feel like it's just it feels easy from here on out for me just because there's so much activity and there's so much investment I can live off of. How was it for you guys? Was it like, like, is it like, oh, it's the same as the beginning, or did you get like a breath? Like, where was your, where was your I second think it was revving, it was revving up to this, you know, because you had the ups and flows of, 
you know, upset, then happy, then bonding, then not. And now all of this is out there. And even after she said it and thought it might be okay, he's gone. It's not. And there's no going back now. Right. Mm -hmm. In my opinion. But did you get like a second? Well, no, there is no going back from where it was, but there there's still levels of <laughs> that happen. There's you more to you go. still drop bombs. Uh-huh. You know. So here's here's where we finally actually get to play too, where it's like I'm getting up in your face, probably the closest I've been, starting to actually whip the camera. If it if Travis didn't contain me, I wouldn't hold it. Oh, this is big. But that so those are hard because right there I wanna go back to you, but he's like, hold here. There's all these different things of motivations that we're trying to work out of like when to show someone like like we're in the truck like this I oh, it stresses me out thinking about it because we were like <laughs> we're using your face cues as like things when to turn but we're also like if there's like a car coming we'll use that too <laughs> we tried to use everything at our disposal to like get good transitions yeah but, that's interesting but that's a good moment of where like kind of we finally got to like feel the intensity for a moment yeah. you know like kind of like we're gonna live in this moment for a bit. Because we've been fairly calm for most of the film, and we're finally like, we're gonna rev it up here a little, and then maybe somber off, and then we're gonna intensify again. Yeah, and that brings the severity of, you know, how this re or this uh, conversation is escalating. Right. You know, but it truly is a dance though, because it's mm -hmm. like, like so for instance, like if you guys didn't, if you didn't, whatever, expel your emotions as much as you did, it wouldn't really allow me to do what I wanted to do. You know, so like, so for instance, if Mike, you were really mad in this moment, but you, for whatever that day, like I th it was like our third day or something, we just, we weren't all hitting it right. Like right. I think that day my easy rig unclipped and <laughs> I was dropping the camera and all this stuff. But like, it was like either way, like for one, you guys had to give me permission to work a certain way on the camera. And then I had to give you a certain permission to like go a certain way. And so it was like tricky unless we all hit the right cues, it didn't work. But when you hit it all, it worked. Yeah. And that was, uh, that's one thing going back to the beginning of the, the lawn scene. Um, it might have been the third day or, or the first day, but I was low energy in the, the beginning. And that's what I was saying is that like, it really depends on that and how you start it off. Right. Because I mean, at one point I was like, I should be low energy. I shouldn't be too frustrated. And then Travis gave me the note afterwards. It was like, no, you have to show that built up right. frustration. And that helped a lot driving the rest of the rest of the scene. I think we learned that a lot too in the beginning of like how we, we got better about tr keeping it sacred because it would be too easy to be like, we're all doing things and I'm like stressed because the light's not working or like, you know, the focus pole was being dumb or you guys are stressed or whatever. And like, it, we did a good job. I think Travis would always bring us in like 10 minutes prior or so and we'd be like, okay. Let's well, you're just angst show. now. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm fired up. up. I'm this is my favorite. Oh, this is my favorite. This is when we start to circle. I was like, I've been waiting the whole movie to finally do this. <laughs> but I love like just circling. We did this a lot for the test. I did it way too much. So I was like a figure eight for like 24 hours. But I just love this moment where I can kind of work off of both of you. Good job, Luke. You know, kind of going back and forth and doing a circle around you guys as you're going into it. I think it's awesome. I'm laying it into right yeah. now. Well, and it's interesting too to see both people because although one person's talking, you can see how somebody else is reacting to what they're saying. 100%. And yeah. you know, that's important at times too. You can't just keep on the one person because to tell the story, you have to see how what the one person is doing to affect the other person. Which is hard to do with one camera right, <laughs> yes, right. Exactly. yeah but I mean, you're that's just like what... oh show her listen or show him listen you know but that moment there you could see how they were affecting each other yeah mm -hmm. and those moments are you know sometimes as important if not more important than just focusing on the one person telling the story totally yeah. i agree yeah because it's easy to just be like well they're talking it's like right. well, no but what... but the reaction of somebody else is sometimes I don't want to say more important, but as important you got as what the other person is saying. Yeah. Well, that's why it's important to do or to know the script, not just the actors, but as you as you know, of videoing it because you're telling the story as well. So it's about what is important to shoot. Like, is it his reaction or is it Wendy actually explaining it? and what drives the story forward and explains it to the best. You got me here, Mike. Look at that. Yeah. You're feeling it now. This is the, we'll go back to this is the, because we're already married, and I think you should talk about that and how, for, at least for one, that it's, Jordan doesn't react upset and luxury here, and that's different, right, and it's, he's upset about this one, but also, I know you've told me off camera that getting this moment was hard sometimes oh, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. 
so I'll just rewind it and maybe bring us into like what you're hearing for the audience. But. Yeah, so so Wendy is confessing to me that um, she's already married right now. So this was difficult for me to tap into um, as an actor. Um, I'm doing it a little bit right here, but just like to get myself to break down at this moment. Um, I know Travis and I kind of had back and forth about it, and it was a it was a struggle. He was like, "This is where you you, you really break down." Well, it's interesting. For, it was for me too. Going, how long have you held the secret and not said anything, and now you're just gonna blurt it out, you know, and again throw this at your son? But she thinks it's all great. Don't worry, sweetie. You know, we'll be fine. And he's mm -hmm. like, "What?" Why, why was it difficult for you, Mike? Was it like hard to dig that deep or did you just not connect with it? What was the deal? So, I guess maybe a, a mixture of both. I guess at the time where the conversation we were talking about before getting into it, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't connecting to, to cry mm. like at that moment. Sure. I felt like it was, it was going to happen later. Um, but then when Travis and I talked about it, I mean, you know, I tried, I tried my best, but... I was more just like, I guess, shocked as, um, you know, before I was. But that's interesting going back to movies too, that we had the build, you know, and again, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it's not, but that we didn't stop, we could have that build. And it, it is amazing to me, like again, in a, a film that wasn't doing it in one shot, going, okay, so today we're going to do your breakdown scene. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, yeah. Here's two lines, yeah. go. Here's some like, onion powder. You know, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. you know, whether you were going to cry or not, we had that build to get to that moment. You know, I, yeah. I can't imagine just going, okay, now let's do that moment. For me, that would be hard, I, I think, as an actor. I mean, I guess I'd figure it out, but well, yeah, I liked that we could build to these moments. There is pros and cons to that because now we're, I mean, all we're just one take here, right? So um, I don't have time to kind of lead up just to that moment, whatever our energy was at the time. Um, it's just how I was feeling. And right. It's what I could go through. And I obviously did not want to fake it or sure. have like a, a fake cry or anything. So I was going to say, I always, I, 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 gave, I guess what you're saying with tears, I understand, but I always felt your emotion there. So I and that's what you yeah. got to do. Yeah. yeah I and we worked felt, towards that though. Right. That's, it, yeah, it was it's definitely good, a struggle, cool know, yeah. but we did. Yeah, we landed it. There's the, sp the spin. I love the spin. And I think it's so fun and effective, especially at this moment. Yeah. And then physically you see just how it's just taking yep. a huge toll on Jordan. I, I I love that like I like even watching it like switch sides. Like, you know, there's times where I'm like, um, you know, I'm on your team and there's time where I'm on, you know, her team. It, it all depends on like where we're at and because there's times where I'm like, you're being too hard on her. You're like, you're, you're going to calm down. There's times where I'm like, what are you, nuts? Yeah, right. Right. You know, and I, it's, I think that I've talked to enough people that like there's certain people that actually feel like you just, it depends on who's watching it. They'll perceive it a different way. Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends what you've experienced exactly. in your life. Yep. That was my biggest uh, reason for, you know, having a conversation with Travis about the beginning because I did feel like Jordan was a, a little bit of an asshole and you didn't get to see how, like a you know cool chill normal person he is and this is just a crazy circumstance with his mother that he cares deeply about yeah um and he's laying into her you know he's not really you know consoling her or anything he's giving her solutions or trying to or trying to solve this situation when she is clearly not <laughs> um on the same wavelength as he is I love how like this zone out is totally different from the last zone out. Mm -hmm. Like same thing, you know, same place. Lighting's a little different, maybe a little bit more dark. He's back on that track. <laughs> He's he got his gas, but I, I love how like, and this goes to the power of how like I think with filmmaking or I I'll just say storytelling because I think good anything can do that. But like with the right music and the right anything, like this was the same thing we did earlier, but like it feels so much darker now because now she's in a darker place. And that's a great shot. And I love that. The I smoke's think still it, going. <laughs> if I know correctly, like that, that was definitely a still shot that got used as a promo, right? right I, love the, I love the, the lighting here is some of my favorite because this is where you, you're, you're starting to get like a natural, you know, positive and negative just from the, you know, this, we're getting closer to blue hour. And then this is where she's going on about everything that she's, you know, you're mad. Been through. Yeah. It's not even mad. It's just passion. Yeah. It's like this is 
this has been awful. My life sucks. Don't you understand what I'm right. going through? And whether he does or not, and whether she's right or not, this is what she's gone through. And, and you yes. execute it very perfectly because, yeah. I mean, yeah, like you're right. She's not necessarily mad, but she's she's kind of feeling she's sorry for herself. Self, yeah, and, and wants that's you what to she does a lot understand. Yeah. And you internalize that very well. I know you come from theater, but on film, this um, you were able to really capture that okay. for the audience. And I laugh at our, our neighbor over there putting the. I know. Yeah. Although she had the same color hoodie on that you had. And I know. I'm like, oh, is that a, is that a oh. Gary hoodie? I was like, wondering if it was the local, uh, you yeah. know, colors. I personally like. I feel like here, I, you feel it more than like maybe anywhere else, which is like when we first started talking about like focal lengths and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I love how like right here, you feel like you're truly in between both of you. You know, like, but yeah, you're not, you're not so close that you feel uncomfortable. You feels more intimate. I don't know, I, I love how that turned out. Just how like, I feel like when I'm watching, I feel like I'm still close to you guys, but I don't feel like I'm also like in your conversation. You know, I still feel a little bit of a fly on the wall effect. Maria, <laughs> just taking down all this stuff. <laughs> in some towns, it's illegal to hang your laundry outside. Is it really? Here, yes. What? Yes. Why? Because it's it looks bad. Honestly, it no, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Because oh, I grew up in Alden, we always hung our laundry out, and I think it's when I moved to. And I don't want to diss it. Don't come after me. But I think in Amherst, when I lived in Amherst, we could not hang our laundry out in our backyard. That's crazy. Of course I mean, it's not Amherst, that anybody. Not <laughs> what? Of course oh, not Amherst. Well, now I'm in yeah, North yeah. Buffalo, and I'll hang whatever I want. Out here. <laughs> I remember, like, this time I remember, like, I mean, like, anything, but we got the cues sometimes, sometimes we didn't, because, like, I think right here the main cue is, like, you got neighbors and blah, 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 and, like, I, I can't remember if you get it here or not. I remember we've gotten this every now and then, but it's just, there's so many levels of, like, cues and mm -hmm. stuff. Well, there's a lot going on at this moment. So I mean, there's much. a lot of stuff we're un unveiling here. Well, now he's, in, yeah, Jordan's reaching his... It's climax almost. It's like, can I hear it. any more of this? What right, more is right. she going to tell me? She adopted three babies and they're in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where I get the most attitude towards you. So how how are you guys doing on the script right now? <laughs> like, I mean, obviously... I, we, I think past this point we were... Sorry, I'll, I'll go back. This this is actually, it's funny you asked that. This is where he- Oh, fumbled you, my Talking mind. fast? Oh, oh. like saying, I, I'm, I'm sorry, talking fast. Like, I'm just speaking fast. Oh, yes, I love that, I love that. I love that cover up. And, and that's me. That was definitely oh, Michael oh, and yeah, that. that was me. Well, no, 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 no. Well, yeah, when it, we all had our thing. I'm gonna yeah. go back and okay. do it on camera. All right. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna stop because I feel like I set it up, so yeah. Yeah, so what's happening here? <laughs> this is uh, one of those moments where I did not remember my line, or I was just so. <laughs> no, I got. I have to look at myself. I'm just blinking. Yeah. Going, oh, oh, and then you're like, I was uh, just trying to struggle to get through, but it worked. You found it. it was I was just say you found it. It was yeah. just like a natural conversation where you just, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm yeah, right, yeah, This is what I mean. Good job finding it though, because I feel like that'd be hard to recover from. You know. We yeah, I was it. thinking. I was like, you know, cut. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. Oh no, exactly. no, we were gonna get back. Yeah. Uh huh. And that's what happens, you know, in real conversation. Nobody knows exactly the right thing to say. You get frustrated and go with the, you know. And now I have no arm. <laughs> no arm. You're just like, Phew. <laughs> so glad I got through that. And luckily yeah. the camera wasn't on me at that time, probably, because I was making probably faces going, what the hell are you saying? I, don't know. I was like, Get I wasn't. Right now, Ben Jur is behind me, booming out a mic, because <laughs> it was, it was Ben was out there doing the dance with me, which was fun. Yeah, so this is where I was most confident in the script because this is what I had auditioned for. Oh. So, um, I actually auditioned with Maria Braun, who is the one uh, uh, hanging up the clothes. Okay. Uh, we were at Delaware Park with Travis. Um, and she was like eight months pregnant at the time, about to pop. Uh, so yeah, we, <laughs> and we uh, we do the scene once, and I was like a little chill, a little laid back. They gave me some notes. They were like, "No, you gotta you gotta really amp it up." And then so I like left nothing on the table. I think that was that was really the golden ticket. They were like, "Okay, 
this is see this i don't is. remember my audition i i just think no actor wanted to do something that was uh you couldn't stop during it so they're like oh lisa will do it <laughs> <laughs> and that you did you did it you killed it yeah, it's crazy because I like so you guys had your like the auditions and then before the auditions we did the camera tests. So at this point we're what maybe an hour and a half in maybe. at least yeah I would say. Yeah. So are you feeling fatigued from holding the camera at this point? Every day was different. I feel like at this point I would get over it. It was usually like I, I if I remember correct, it was usually like like forty minutes. I would be like uh oh like hot and sweaty. Travis gave me his like his his like soccer his basketball. Bandana. Oh, yeah. those things are I think I the know. thing that wasn't taken into account was bugs. Oh, the bugs are the worst. That's I, what, if you see me, if you see the camera jitter, that was probably me trying to get a mosquito yeah. off me. There's so many times I just let them bite me, but there's times where like I can't. And yeah, we're outside and it's two lawn chairs. Yeah, we can make this happen. I mean, just the the kismet of all of that mm -hmm. that, really that, crazy. that we could do it. And again, we didn't have to do anything different. You know what I mean? Because of the pandemic, there was yeah. nothing. But I mean, there's a lot of things that work in our favor too, of having a small crew and yeah. kind of the way it was structured and set up. It just it kind of allowed for itself to be okay too, just because of its inherent nature, which is cool. It does remind, like when you were talking about like the camera test and your auditions, I was like, it makes me laugh a little because I feel like all the best projects like Pan Am has ever done, we didn't think we could do them. <laughs> like we just started it and we're like, we don't think this is possible, but we're going to try. And it's fun to see that this is like here and it's a thing now, you know, more so just because of the technique we used and the risks we took to try to make it. But it's crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, especially when you're doing something on very low budget to make something quality is, you know, very impressive. Again, I don't know budgets of movies, but you know, <laughs> you look at them and when I, I'll watch a movie sometime and go, this was a five trillion dollar movie. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah, I mean, you'll see terrible films that are right. like five million dollars all day long, you know? The yeah. point and is telling the story and yeah. I think I, it's even more importantly than like the budget too. It's like, it's actually finding like talent. You know, so you can find people like, you know, like, it's like not even, you could do a movie for no budget, let's say with friends, but like this is a movie with no budget with very talented people, Aww. you know, so it's like to, to make a film of this caliber, it, you know, in the time frame we did it and all that, oh, it's getting going now. See, now here comes the blocking. <laughs> <laughs> stand like, okay, up, I walk away, hit this up. mark. Yeah. yeah, it was like a day before we actually shot either the rehearsal or the first day, but, um, Every time we rehearsed it, we did not rehearse it for me to, uh, well, you'll see in a second, for me to stand up. Um, but it, it was, it had to happen. It was, uh, like, necessary. because right. You didn't have to now. deal with a lumbar pillow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there you go. Got to move yeah, those yeah, chairs because yeah. we got to get back into the light. Yeah, yeah, we'll and to be, you know, chairs. to be honest, I was not a fan of this new um, little move. Yeah, sure, this new sure. move, but, you know, it worked out. I, I'm curious if people watching this like actually care about any of that. You, you know what I mean? Like we're like, where's me? I'm like, the logical part of you maybe thinks like, why would you get up and just move the chair three feet? Right. I'm yeah. curious how many people would actually be like, oh yeah, that was weird. Why do you do that? Because you're just right now. It's like you're going into it. You can tell you're yeah. you're about to lay it all out there. So it's like I know for here, I was I'm listening to you. And uh, Lisa is not. Because I'm talking a little low. She's like, what? <laughs> this so you said you made a little quiet. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, I think he's whispering something. <laughs> I'm just going to hug this pillow. Right. And wait until yeah, I think Travis it's my telling cue. Luke, don't put her in focus. She has no idea what hold, you said. She's hold. going, hey, hey, what you saying, son? <laughs> you sound like, uh, yeah, you sound like a little... But this oh, one's okay. definitely, oh, there it is. And I, my you line say, was, what did you my just say? My line is, do you have something to and you're, say? Yeah, you're genuine. Yeah, you're like, what What was that? Do you have I, something to say? Couldn't hear you. <laughs> when I, was 16. I, lo I love this movie. I think this is cool. There's there's like different, like, you know, ebbs and flows, and this is one of them. I think it's cool. No, it was, yeah, it was my big monologue, if you could say. <laughs> it my is, yeah. This is kind of like your turn to tell your story or like, yeah. you know. Give your feelings. Oh, my turn now. Yeah. It is, it is. Like, now it's your turn, yeah. Huh? And it's so interesting because, again, we had no idea who was in focus, who wasn't in focus. We just had to keep... I always assumed know. I was just in focus. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm upset that I'm not. Right, I'm doing like, some amazing acting back there. Now. 
Oh, that's great. <laughs> no, in all serious though, that this is a this is a big moment in the scene, and you know. And the award for blurry acting goes to. <laughs> Lisa, you did such so a yeah, because now you're talking about blurry. grandma, right? This is grandma. Yeah. No, we're talking yeah. about the chair. Yeah. We're talking chair. about that chair. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which is a sim symbolism. Yeah. In some may say. Yeah. If grandma was here right now, mm -hmm. what do you think she would say? It's starting to get dark too. Starting to see the lights inside the house. Yeah. The way you guys planned that, it just worked out perfect, just with the ambiance and the, like the tone of where the the scene's going. It is. It's fun to see it progress and. I mean, but I mean, like every day was different, you know. <laughs> like, like, like some days it would be like really bright here still, mm -hmm. and then some days it'd be like really dark. Like it just, it totally depended on where the clouds were, and oh, that was nuts. Well, and the continuity of that was important, you know. Oh, well, exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, there the lights come there out. There you go. Yeah. And there this he was is. A, this was a that, change in the hair now. This was funny because we came up with the whole like, you know put a person up there and try to give more activity. And that like apartment had like the roof was completely caved in. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how the electricity, even, I don't even know if it did work. There was a lamp, but I remember we put a lamp there too. But either way, that apartment was like caved in and like wasn't livable, but the neighbors were super accommodating and let us up there. But I totally forgot about that. I did not know that. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, that was, that was fun. Way to find it, Luke. Good job, buddy. You look good there. The hair? That's nice. Alright, yeah, the hair. it up. <laughs> yeah. It looks really good. <laughs> Sorry, so like, because like, so for me right here, I'm like, I know, I feel like I kind of know where we're going, like for my camera movements. I'm like, okay, I have a good stretch where I know where I'm going. Where, where are you both at? Do you feel comfortable or? I think she's giving a monologue about how she loves the pillow so much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes, you are correct. That's what it's I was thinking. It's just my favorite. I got it from TJ Maxx. Yeah. <laughs> like, do, do you genuinely think you know where you're going for the rest of the film with your dialogue? Or like, or is it just like, I know this much ahead of me? Well, to be honest, I mean, from my perspective, uh, this is the moment where this was the least amount of rehearsal that we did, I would mm. say. Right? Mm. Would you be? I don't know. Well, I mean, I had a... Well, you rehearsed your monologue. But this is like you were saying earlier. It's like, okay, now we got to get to this emotion. Hope it happens. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. hope, hope, hope we can get there because there's nothing you can do if you can't. Uh, and I have you, to sit you, somewhere. Yeah, you own I'm, this whole thing. I'm going, oh, well, i got to sit down at some point. I can't remember. Was it like, did you stand because you just like, was this, was it? I stood because my director told me That's to why I wasn't stand. sure. That's why I wasn't sure. Yeah. I was well, like, I was going into the house. I was leaving. Well, right, 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 right. And sure then, but we did have right to come back, back where I had to sit. And I okay. think we added a line. Didn't we say sit back down? We mm -hmm. did add a line. Mm -hmm. um, because there was no actual um, reason action. for me to sit yeah, back no down. Reason, yeah. yeah. And we had to sit back down for a little bit more so we could have a little bit more happen. There's a transition coming up. I don't know where it is, but I remember kind of said, I can tell he's, coming right now. he's pushing in in post. It might have even have been there. I don't know where it nope, was. No, it's coming up. Right. It's yep. somewhere here, which is crazy to think that you're about to do a transition on someone's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't the fire truck come? Oh, oh look at that. that! Look at that! I that's still, a, I, I didn't that. see it. Yeah, that's great. Oh, you, guys, you, blinked, you guys are you magic. It. Oh, that's great. Look at the light there. Oh, I love that light. That oh, looks good. Is... You got the smoke. Uh, this is like this was this was because this is what we we like in you know like I said pie in the sky. You know, there's sparks. It's slow motion or whatever. It's gonna be you know it's intense. It's oh, crazy. This is a beautiful but I think this is like moment. a this is a very good execution. Of this that. is what had or gave Lisa her flowers. Um, because this is what won her uh, best uh, actress at the uh, um, one of the festivals yeah. we were at. <laughs> this is great. Said in all the time that we had this festival, we've never had such a powerful performance. Look at the fire. I was so sad I couldn't go to that festival. I was so mad. You guys had fun, probably. Too. <laughs> you probably had fun. <laughs> it would have been a lot better with you there. Oh. Uh, well, let's get in another one somewhere. I want to go somewhere. <laughs> That's great. Like you can just watch it and it kind of you can kind of feel it, you know, the breakdown. My children, when they watch this, probably feel that they've seen this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's mom yeah, again. There it is, yeah. <laughs> Toilet must be. Clogged. I just eked it out from yeah. the last time I was with the kids. Well, I like this part. This was fun. I feel like this oh, was this, probably yeah. more Travis than me. I, like, I don't know if I would have done this. 
like keeping this framing. And, and you use that as one of the posters. It's, it's or, uh, Travis did. It's a it's a good look, and it really worked out. Look, at, I love because that fire is real. And those are those. Are, I'm serious. Like those. That's, that's a real not. Fire. That's not. An and effect. those are long. Remember, we got no no budget here. Well, I so. mean, because it was like there's so many days where the fire just didn't happen. Yeah. Because they didn't know how to light it, and for it to be sitting there for that long. And finally, come up on cue when we needed it. The to fact do. that that's all you're worried about when I'm acting my little. <laughs> <butt up. laughs> yeah, I'm on another level. I'm like, hey, look at the fire is working, and I kept my composition. She's saying something, but <laughs> but that fire, man. I love the reverse frame. It's fun. It is. It's great. Look at that. Going into it. I remember we talked a lot about like the background too, with like, what do we leave? Because we kind of want it to still feel like Gary, but you don't want it to be distracting either. Yeah. And again, this goes to show like every, this character, you know, the, this moment. And I, I agree with you. The back, everything is important. But I mean, here is kind of her in a nutshell, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in just the angle of how Aaron is shooting it, yeah. and the shadow on your face, um, it just tells the whole story. But if I were you, I would have been turning my face a little bit more. To this side. <laughs> I didn't know to go for my angle, Mike, like you. That's See, amazing. look at you, like you're doing right now. I mean, it's perfect. That's a big moment. He's looking at her. He's just that was my one moment, moment throughout her whole monologue. It is. This like, is okay. But you were smart enough to turn your head. And you're like, look at how pretty I look at this moment with my little hair. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, that, there's it. I do have to say to the audience, I was not actually thinking how pretty I was. <laughs> I was in it. I after. was. At this whole moment, I'm I like, I, I am hot. I was like, Mike looks good. <laughs> A hot mess. But. <laughs> yeah. So this is crazy. I mean, so this is like, what, we're more than an hour and a half in from one, one of the takes is when we did this. And we did this at least four times. Yeah. Oh, it's just crazy to think about, like, how many times, like, we've done this and... Or how little times we've done it. Well, that's a good you way to put it. Mean? Yeah, how little times we've done it. Yeah. Right. I remember that was like, I think I'm early on, Travis spoke about it a little bit, how like Pixar would make their films, how it's kind of like it's fun for animation because they can like make them and then like watch them and then and they can like adjust. And it was kind of cool because we got to do a little version of that with this film where we would basically make a whole film one day, do some minor adjustments and then make, make it the whole film Because it was a continuous yeah. take. Yeah, and it's fun to see how it actually evolves or yeah. right and it was probably more important for you guys as um you know with the camera work and and with the focus and all that to do that to watch it um the first day and then make the adjustment and be like okay that didn't work we gotta you know pull focus on him him or yeah. or whatever what have you i mean because yeah you know, everything i'm wearing right now that came from the wardrobe of uh of travis I've got nothing to say about my wardrobe. I don't think I've <laughs> oh, said enough. Don't give her, don't give her an in there. Yeah, he's beautiful. Uh, I love this. this now is... here's my question. As I was rambling on for those last five hours, did you listen to a word I said while Ooh. we were doing it? What do you mean? Like when you were like acting, we like, like, because I mean, I had to go on and on. Like, yeah. so what were you experiencing when that was happening? Were you going, when is she going to end? Because I got something to say. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was definitely, I had to, I, I was definitely listening. Um, Do you feel it? That, that sounds ignorant for me, but I, I don't act at all. So I'm like, like when someone, like, you know, when she says something. Here's like, another uh, hidden cut coming up. Yeah, this is. Look at you with all the inside info. I didn't know there were any. I don't, love, I don't love this cut, but you know, you, you, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. I get it. But, but, face but, is but for the people at home, we did this live every time too. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we always did. Well, you're talking what? Three cuts? Oh, Not there's way the more than that. Is there's, it? Yeah, there's a hefty amount, but but still, but this one's maybe a little bit more like. But this is, I think, the ambulance happens too here. So this is also like, I mean, mm -hmm. it's also like a, a cool moment, you know, like where. Like, well, it's very subtle, but in the beginning of this close-up, I was definitely a lot lighter in color, and then it. So boom, there it is. And there right it is. There, I think, yeah. Okay, so that's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the when the light turns on. Oh yeah. That one, that one kind of hits me a little too hard, but you know, like I said, it. It, it works with the light turning on. Right. Kind of. It's also amazing that we can even try to like. That's kind of the beauty of trying to mimic the performance every time. Is that it allows for these kind of moments, which you like to think you could always do, but those porch lights really helped out. I'm glad we turned those on. 
it's a good contrast of like the, you know, you get the warmth and the, like you guys are so cold right now. Cause that's what's fun, like the white balance on the camera hasn't changed, this is just the world actually changing. Mm. And now, as the script's getting darker, you're becoming a little darker. Like not only physically, but the mood's cooling down, like, I would love to see, like if you took this image with like the first image, they're night and day, you know, like yeah. the first one's warm. Literally. Literally, <laughs> night and day. But but I, and I, I would assume, uh, you know, you wouldn't take on this film as like a, you know, a director, like you're, when you're actually filming it and feel like you could get away with to doing it in the same shot, same color and all that. Like it right. has to take into effect. Like the only way this is gonna work is if this camera focuses on the right spot for the right story and, and kind of gives the anxiety when you're going back and forth between characters. Like yep. that's the only way it's gonna work. It's so cool. I, I, I'm curious if anyone else has ever done this before. I, I've never seen it. Like we've Not actually, like this. We've actually gone from like, we're gonna start at sunset, we're just gonna go till, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, till it's night and just let it be one shot. I've never seen it, so I think it's just cool. I think it's just still cool that we did it. And that it worked well. Like this looks great. I'm still surprised by it that the first time we did this, I remember like, I think, I think it was rehearsal, Matt Ardone was out there with me with like a, a light tube and we're like trying to do all this stuff and it was just such a mess and nothing looked good. And it's just amazing how sometimes if you just work with your environment and you know, block right and actually think a little deeper about what you're gonna do, that you can make something great. Yeah, go, oh, there it is. Whoop, yeah. you know that. Transition is better than I remember, honestly. That was a clean cut, but that ambulance was a happy accident. <laughs> we had a lot of. You didn't call them in for the neighbors. No, neighbor not that street. time. Not that time. Yeah, huh? Yeah. But, so I think this might be back to day two. Day one. Day uh, day one. Oh, okay. Getting a cue for, uh, that is day one, not day two. See, I'm a. I, I can't remember what day was good, bad, or indifferent. But I'm always even theater. Like I like opening night. I feel I have the most energy and the most authenticness the first day. I don't know if that happened in filming because I don't remember. Right. But um, I, I, whenever people go, oh, what day? I'm going to come to your show. You know, five weeks into the run, I'm like, no, please come opening. Where most people don't want that. Sure. But I think sure. you've just got that adrenaline and that energy. I don't remember if we did, but. Well, that's the that's the difference between uh, like uh, stage and and film, I guess. Well, like with stage, or no, usually with film, you have to if it's not one take, you have to hit the same on the same notes. Like it has to be kind of the same every single well, take. With that being said, though, as an actor, uh, a stage actor, and I think you can ask people who work, I'm a very consistent person. Not that I can't go with something that goes wrong or something different, but when I am directed away, that's how I will do it, where other actors are like, well, today I'm going to try this, and I hate that, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, um, um, but sometimes you just can't get the emotion or the, you know, that, that feeling you had every day. I mean, the performances were so different every time. It's crazy how different they were. I was missing every cue. <laughs> so, like, there's a big moment where, like, you, 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 you say a massive line, and I'm not on you. Yeah. You know, like, at all. And so it's like, ah. So it's like, to finally get it all, and... Ah, oh, this looks good right here. Like, that yeah. looks great. I love that we just put those floodlights up there, and that's all it was. This could also be in a scene from The Exorcist if we really wanted to. Put it. <laughs> you do get a little crazy. I, lo I love what it does well, to it's, you. Though. It's I love it. The evolution yeah. of the character and exactly. where the story's going. But even how you have the tilt of the camera too mm -hmm. is, is very cool. And I love the hard light on you, Jordan. There, that's that's such a great contrast. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, Aaron, you asked um, earlier if like I, we felt it or if we were just like. Acting or, or saying right? Are you lines, actually are you actually listening? What the benefit of doing a one take is that like the um, momentum is on our side as an actor, you know. So I'm definitely feeling it. I'm feeling the ups and downs of it, um, and I don't want to get too like actory about it, but um, it was very, um, I guess I, I said before, but grounded. But um, I related to this in my real life. I tapped. I tapped into that wholeheartedly when I was um, sitting in that chair for two hours. Well, and as an actor and a character, because it's just the two of us, you did have to listen and react, you know, the old acting, you know, act and react, because 
who knew what somebody if somebody said something different that's i can't true. just say what my yeah. next line i think is supposed to be that's a good point. so yeah. um well you could but it just wouldn't right wouldn't be, <laughs> <laughs> right, wouldn't be the right thing yeah. so yeah. um you know you you had to and i, I admit I keep saying, because this is new to me, I didn't really know when the camera was on me. So like, I had to, me, be in the, not that I wouldn't have been anyway, but in that moment all the time, because I'm like, oh, I don't know if they're watching me, so I better be making sure I'm listening and reacting to what he's saying to me instead of worrying about what my next line is. Although deep down I was worrying about what my next line was as well. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you have, you have to, to do be, both. Yeah. My favorite thing, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but like with, because I have an earpiece in right now, and Travis is talking to me the whole time, and it was terrible. <laughs> but it was so necessary, so necessary, but like it would be super challenging at times because like I also, even though he's watching it on a screen, I felt like I was just as into it with you guys out there. So there's times where like, I want to do this, and he's like, no, do this, and I'm like, ugh. You and know, you like, couldn't even talk back to him. No, like, no exactly. I want to do this. I'm just totally stuck. I can't talk to him. I'm just kind of, I can listen, but that's about it. And, uh, but I remember, because there's this moment right here, it's like kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, right there, so you're just, you're laying into him there. It's a lot of anger. But like, we're just, and I love, I love this transition. Yeah, play this part if you can. No, Mom! It's like, you like, love me more than your Yeah, Yeah, I love this, yeah. Matthew, you so sorry. I can't believe you would say that. What? What? You regret that I am your mother? Yeah. Yeah. No, mom. It's a fact that I'm half you. Uh, sorry. That's like a, that's like a classic. Like I feel like I've, I've just, I've, I feel like anyone in any relationship has had a version of this happen at some point. We're like because the other person's mad or something. This might be an extreme version, but like where someone just literally just twists your words. Yep. And. You're like, and I love your reaction. You're just like, this is just a fact. And like, but to her, she's genuine. Like, I can't believe you say that. Because she has this victim mentality. And, mm -hmm. and then she immediately goes on the attack. Then fine, go live with him. Right. right. You, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and that's something that was, when I read the script for the first time, I was like, this is, I had the same conversation with my mom. Shout out my mom. I love her to death. Um, but yeah, there's moments where she just, you know, gets on the defensive, uh, plays the victim. And I'm just like, Mom, what are you, are you serious? That's not the point that we're right. trying to make here. And that's what Jordan was doing throughout this whole kind of conversation. But again, where I as an actor had to listen to him, I as the character Wendy wasn't listening to him. Yeah. You know, so it was this joke, you know what I mean? There was a lot of active non-listening yeah, we, we yeah. talked about a lot during this, uh, the rehearsal process and how we, this would be effective because you have to stay engaged. Like you said earlier, right. you don't but know. But she's not listening to what he's saying. Right. Mm -hmm. All she's mm -hmm. hearing is, wah, wah, and then I don't love you. What? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Selective hearing. Yeah, <laughs> very much. I know this was, because I remember, so like in that, the, the far right corner right now, there's like the patio. And we're like, the patio was really nice. And I was like, we can't show that because like it wasn't nice, you know, when yeah. like his, you know, Travis's mom. That was the there. one like fixer or like the yeah, one exactly. Thing it was like a really it. nice patio. We're like, we'll ignore that. Yeah. But like, I mean, I because this shots reminded me of it because of the tall grass there, where I was like, can you leave that like that, you know? Because it's like a little bit of like what it was like, you know, where it's like, you know, we're not saying the place was run down, but it's just the idea of it's well, just, Wendy wouldn't upkeep it. Right. Exactly. Know, so. Yeah. Uh huh. There's a purple bug light we put up because uh, why not? <laughs> We're like, yeah, got a little color. Goes in with the Mother's Day theme. I, I still love it. It's fun to watch. And now we're full see. darkness. You are so hands. dark right now. You got some light. Well, you this got is some the light peak right here. here. Yep, mm -hmm. it's about to switch. Oh. That's great. I love the activity. That's Do great. we have a light? Was he using? I couldn't remember. No, there's no, light no. This is right? all just that all the light source is coming from that garage right now, and there might be a little bit bouncing back at you from the sky, but that's it. Yeah, that's great. I can't. I just. I can't. So this was like. I, I don't know how it was for you guys, but this was like one, I was like, okay, we're getting close to the end, which got me nervous and excited. <laughs> like genuinely every time, cause it's like, we've come so far. And like, 
I will say, yes, yeah, nervous and excited because to be totally honest, when we get to the end, the end is tough because we yeah. had to knit it up. Yeah. Right? Totally. So all this emotion was great. And it's like, okay, now we've got five minutes to go. And here's the end of the story for now. Yeah. You know, so for me, that was that was tougher. I could have gone on forever I with agree. this I arguing and stuff. More, yeah. I feel like there were so many, I don't want to say things that weren't buttoned up here either, but it was just like we had more issues happen here. We're like, I mean, like for me, like when, You'd get down and you'd do your push-ups. That was always like kind of a struggle to yeah. get that right. Yeah, it's like, I hope you can do those push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> he was so exhausted at that yeah. point. And then you'd do the run and I was always like, like like trying to get her feet. Like, you know, like there's so many cues here. Like right now, like this is, Stella. I love that. I feel like I you're yelling, it. Stella! <laughs> Mama! Yeah. <laughs> There's John Q over there trying to get a cue. Did I get it? I got Okay, Luke hey, got Get the too. hell out the way, man. Let's see. <laughs> He's I, like, I, I can't remember. I don't grab it. Okay, and so, your Travis so right here, Travis is yelling in my ear to go look at the other neighbor because the neighbor's looking and it's like a part Because I got the direction. And I got to glance did, over did, right. did Travis really do um, push-ups after this happened? Yeah, that seems like a Travis thing to do. Yeah, but Interesting. I don't, oh yeah, he's that kind of guy. See, and this <laughs> was tough for me. So then me we look cause... at the neighbor, but Ben Jura was over there. Oh, oh, look. oh, look at that's great. Oh, look at me. I want you should have done a couple of claps. Oh, <laughs> I, I did a clap. Yeah. <laughs> that's no, awesome. One arm, no one arm, though. I love this intensity, though. It's just so great. It felt so authentic. I know, I don't like, make fun. Because I, I think it's super <laughs> important to say that, like, even if there was a cut, technically this scene happened after an hour and a half. Bang. I love that. I love that. So this a is a bit. great little. Oh, that's powerful, man. Yeah, this is. Uh, like inside hair. was fine. Um, Look at that hair flying in the mm -hmm. wind. As soon as we got outside, that's when I was like, we might mess this whole movie up. Yeah, this was this stressed me out too because the lighting always seemed to be there. Always seemed to be a lighting issue here or something like that. But but it, it, it's a great contrast. Like an acting know. to no dogs there. Yeah. Yeah, because we only had the dogs for that one day. And then this cut right here, like evil. Oh, like that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Different movie. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that is so great. Okay, like I, I mean, didn't you, weren't you getting blood on your sock at that point or something? Yeah, like someone that? was, I think someone's was down. Meg? I think yeah. Maria or something or Megan, yes, someone's yeah. down and now there. it's Maria right. Maria was down there. Down, yeah, and we obviously added this. And then we cut the wet t-shirt <laughs> that we were going to add for this moment. Sure, for yeah. both of us. I mean, yeah. how cool is this though? Because I remember, I genuinely didn't know it was raining until I saw the shot. Until like I like came out and looked up and I was like, oh, it's raining. Because it was like light enough that I didn't feel it. Yeah. Like so, like it looks like it's pouring right now, or like, but like you couldn't even feel that. Like, and that was another thing when we were doing. I'm like, do we stop? No. Nope. Right. Keep going. Right, Keep yeah. going. Yeah. This was. Uh, this was just difficult to navigate. I'm, through, I'm but... proud of this one too because I remember. Oh, look at there. There it is. And that looked real. Yeah, yeah. that dog got you, Yeah, he man. got you good. I thought this was fun for us to light this scene with the cars driving by with lights shining through to kind of you know simulate traffic. We have the light in the garage, we have the light on the porch there. The motorcycle is kind of positioned just right to fill you. Yeah. So a lot of your light's actually coming from the bounce off the house. Just super fun to get creative with the lighting. With like 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 that right car, there. Car car driving by. Probably. I genuinely didn't like that, and Travis was like, "We're going to do it." And watching it, I'm like, "It makes so much sense." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm glad that uh, he stuck to his guns on that. See, it's those little details that us as actors. Yeah, I mean, no I'll idea. speak for me. Yeah. I would right. not think about. And there's just people driving in cars right now, back and forth. With, they were our people. With, oh yeah, oh. yeah. Huh? And they're just going back and forth with lights to try to intensify. See, it again, and, I had no idea that was going on. Yeah, like right there, because it really does add a lot of value. Because it's yeah. like, oh yeah, you know, it's it's intense and. It's like you guys are professional. <laughs> Some like that. This was hard for me. I don't know how it was for you guys, but this was really hard for me to this follow. This was very difficult. Oh, this was so hard. Um, yeah, I think we repeated a couple lines just to get to the final moment. We yeah. knew where we needed to go, but how we got there is kind of relates to the dog scene. Yeah. In a way. Um, it's like, let's get to, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you're thinking, oh, oh that just go great. back. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's so great. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Look at that. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, that's so great. It looks so good. It worked out. And like the rain is like subsiding already, you know, like right yeah. on my cue. With my auburn hair just in place. <laughs> Her hair <Yeah>. actor. <laughs> See, I, it's funny because like watching this, I'm like, oh, this is so sweet. But I was still the most scared right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like hands, because like 
I feel like we always got here and then like we didn't have well because then we have to move around right to, right to this that other was light. never like fully like, buttoned down and I always was like okay let's see if this is gonna work right here and Dude, every time you hopped in that motorcycle, I was so worried about it being in gear. <laughs> I would see you pulling the clutch, and I was like, Ugh! and I was like, oh, you let go, and I'm like, okay. Well, Travis pop. taught me a, a decent amount of the day before. Sure, so. <laughs> sure. I did forget, too, that, so when I, I run from the backyard, the light looks good there. I, I run from the backyard, and then when I go in the house, every time, Luke would lose focus, so I'd have to pull off his focus wheel as I was running the house. And so right now, I'm like manually focusing which is why it's probably not always in focus. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about that. And just just like the beginning scene we talked about uh, with um, setting the landscape of, of the town with mm -hmm. the drone shot, um, that's, you know, this is the ending that, you know, when the audience watches it, um, it's not a bow tie ending, but it's just so realistic. And yeah. just, I don't know, I, I, I definitely like this a lot. It turned out very mm -hmm. well. I thought I thought it was a clever way for Travis to come up with kind of like a a new environment too, where it's like close to the house, but you know, kind of having the the TV going, which is really just a projector being thrown at those blinds, mm. as bright as we can okay, make you're it. You're ruining the magic. Hey, that's uh, yeah, that's kind of that's, that's what, what this is about. Oh, <laughs> that's right, what this sorry. is about. Yeah, yeah. got to give all the meat and potatoes. I, it sounds funny because like the house really isn't that ugly. But like I love that the siding's broken there yeah. <laughs> because like otherwise it would be like eh, it just looks like a house. But now I'm like yeah yeah it's not that nice. You didn't you know? rip that off. For no that no 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 it just so happened to be like that and but it, honestly it does add to the character of it. Yeah this yeah with the, oh, I love it. Yeah good thing I'm not six two where I'm covering that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the moment where I didn't plan to cry and it just came out naturally. I remember Travis after he was like hey. Did you like? Were you planning that? No. I was like, no. Nope. <laughs> just in the nope. moment, I'm feeling it. Oh, look at it. Cause there's like a whole another bit after this too. So it's like always hard. Cause like right now, I'm like in my head, I'm like, I should be like thankful and all that, but I'm like not right now. I'm like worried. Cause now, like we 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 still we, got a drone. Right, exactly. <laughs> and like, is it too dark? And you know, all these different variables. Look at that. Yeah, and all you're thinking of, none of that we're thinking about. I had no idea. Yeah, <laughs> what it is was. funny. Like, yeah. Just hit your mark over by this window. So, are you relieved yet as actors? Are you relieved I will yet be no? relieved after I pick up that picture. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about Same. you? Same. I'll be relieved when I get to that bike and, and Travis transitions. Really? Um, so, you don't even, you're not like, Wow, that's crazy. This, I, honestly, these last three minutes, acting-wise, was the hardest for me in the whole movie. It's funny, because I feel like yeah, it was... No, I and I don't know if I... Because I, I just felt, oh, God, because we've got to button this up, and is this natural? Is this right? Are we... Is it, you know... It's one of the best moments in, in the film. You think this is? Opinion. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I gotta rewatch it. <laughs> I gotta rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do, because a lot of... Well, you've, yeah, you've seen it, I think, more than me. I have it, you know, so... And just the reaction I got um, from like my friends when they watched it at the premiere, um, they loved the fact that it didn't just like have a happy ending. Oh right, no, no, real. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I think it's. I think it's a fun because I think this moment allows for maybe people that maybe didn't catch everything to almost catch them up to speed in like a weird mm -hmm. way because you're not like recapping but you kind of are recapping the conversation in like but like in a very natural organic way which is yep. kind of cool because some people some of the stuff might have breezed past them or something like that this is like a very organic way to you're just like that was nuts like you know what the hell and so someone actually kind of be like okay i get it yeah you know? and again we're like we're watching this without the dialogue being presented to us so I mean, we probably just could Just another Mother's Day in Gary. <laughs> oh. I love that because I feel like, I mean, first time I, you know, read this, it was like, all good. And then I forgot, you know, the term Mother's Day or anything. It just like kind of like, you know, was lost. And then when it came up at the end, I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, so I much yes. Cause I genuinely like, I think, I think I, I would like to think most people don't remember until that moment happens. And it's crazy to think about yeah. in any capacity. And another reason why I like this scene is because oh. there was a, a lot of different emotions. Like we mm -hmm. laughed, we kind of you know settled it down. Yep. 
we were able to, I guess, push it off until our next conversation in a, in the yeah. most positive way we could. And you're a very good hugger, Mike. That's a real hug. Yeah, that's so, a real hug. Fun fact, I remember there was one time we did it and I like held you close, like looked at you, pulled you, and then we were like, yeah, don't do that. That kind of looks like you're about to make up. <laughs> <laughs> but you I'm are like, adorable. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Oh, lights back on. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> it's a whole new meaning. Yeah. Wow, this movie really took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> This was, this was, this part was always, this was so tough for me too. I never like, you know. Oh, I mean, neither. I don't right. want to say it never felt right, but it was just always, we, oh, it was so hard to just make sure that like, I was walking back the right way and that like, you made sense and she made sense. Like, I don't know, it's just, like it still wasn't, there's still no relief yet. It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Ah. Like it is crazy to think And in my it. mind, I'm going, you didn't even wrap it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you. <laughs> Bomb drop, that's great. Yeah. That's a great composition though, I love that. That's super, that's just awesome. Yeah. With the bike and her and they got the bugs. It feels like a, feels like a night in gear at the old truck tailgate. So is this still day one, so the rain stopped? Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah, cause it, it yeah, literally cause it was just- I remember it didn't last. No, and it was barely a sprinkle. Like it was like barely, not even a wet down. But right when you come outside, oh, that's beautiful. And then so Video Village is right behind yeah, that car. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Tucked right back if in there. If you pause it, maybe you can see the screen. Yeah. Now, how did that picture get out there? It blew out. Look at that. There it is. Yeah. That little recall to the beginning. We talked about that idea so many different ways, and it's just crazy to think about how many, <laughs> how many things we wanted to do, and but I think it all. It, at the end of the day, it comes together and tells the story right. So now this is Travis, right? Yeah. It's not you. Yeah. That's why I had to pick up the picture. Mm -hmm. This was stressful. This drone shot was always so hard. I don't know why. It was too dark. It was always an issue. We did it about like three, four times each night. Yeah, we always tried to get a few extras out, but it never, ever worked. And we got this one and only this one, <laughs> you know, that like really made sense. And cause it was just like, I think initially we wanted to, I think, I think it still worked out or like right here. So you this, see, is that heritage? Yep, exactly. The, so that's yeah. heritage. And like, theoretically his house is a little bit to the right. But I mean, if we went that way, it just got dark. So we're it's like, it's just crazy. Leaving. I don't know if there was like a, a change in color contrast to get that, the, the sky like that. Really Shout out to Travis. Travis. Yeah. But it was dark on the ground, but then that drone, I was like, oh, wait, there's still Because there was, yeah, right? and that's why we kept it there, because I was like, Shout the last glimmer Caswell. of light, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, we'll just leave it there. And it worked out just enough to fade it out. Oh, yeah, Cole. That's great. Cole was a shredder. Cole, Cole helped out so much on this film. There you have it. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it was interesting to watch it without the uh, the dialogue. Well, and to relive it. Right, yeah. that's you know, yeah, right. Um, to just go past it, yeah. Yeah, it's been... It it's, seems like another lifetime ago, and it wasn't that long ago. I know, it's nuts. Look at that. Did you guys what? have fun? I, got, I had fun. That was that fun. Was really I, had good. A, I had a lot of fun. This is the first time it I think like all three of us. It seems like it's a great movie. I'd love to see it again movie. sometime, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. I'll do it again with you guys if you ever want to. Okay. All right? Yeah. Sounds good. Mother's Day, the reckoning. <laughs> the reckoning. All right. Well, Bye, bye, everyone. Hey. Thank you so much. See you at the movies. Yeah. Oh, look, my name. <laughs> <laughs> so fitting. Wait. Oh, look, Mike's name. Thank you for listening to this. Thank you. Hello again. Uh, I'm Travis, the writer and director of, of Mother's Day. We get a lot of questions about how we made this project. Uh, as a one-shot film, a continuous shot film, we did a two-mile drone shot. If you are interested in any of the filmmaking or our approach to the writing or casting, we created uh, a documentary that, that shows all of that and we are also releasing that for free on YouTube. So uh, follow the links in the description uh, to go right over there. 
and learn all about how we made it, um, the highs and lows during a pandemic. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say is this movie was made by a group of volunteers. Um, this was not a Hollywood budget and we do not have a Hollywood marketing budget. Uh, as you can see, we're giving it away um, with a little help from Rural Minds because we think the conversation is important, but you are literally the only way that people are going to discover this. So if you like what you saw or you want to pass this along to anybody, please feel free to share it, um, spread the word. And if you feel so inclined to uh, give a donation to the team that did this by themselves for over two years, um, you can go over to panamericanfilms.com. Usually only about 1% of the people who see messages like this will actually go and donate. Um, but we would really appreciate you specifically. If you would be the one who takes action, we would really help to compensate the crew and the cast who worked over two years of their life to bring this to life for you um, for free. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and from Pan American Films and from the hundreds of thousands of families that deal with this every day. Thank you. Thank you.